Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 homebrew and other homebrew as well. Yes. As cars drive by. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> noisy, <laughs> noisy mufflers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Welcome everybody who's watching live in Twitch. Mm -hmm. Welcome Tanya. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome James. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says above my name. <laughs> Above my head. Above your head. We're all we're all in disarray right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of head, I got my hair cut. I know. I was going to say, hey, I didn't even First. notice that you came flying in the door getting getting Whoosh. the show. Getting I, ready. I, oh, it looks Just, nice. Yeah. Very short. Yeah, yeah very, very short. Good. Tanya's been cutting the sides. I have as best for the as past I can. Five months. And what kind of uh, negative feedback did your uh, hairdresser give you? <laughs> None at all. None at all. Apparently, no the last time I did it, he went, someone else cut your hair, didn't they? <laughs> well, that's because long strands fell to the floor, <laughs> as opposed to short little strands. They yeah, were, you, you they were a few. You didn't clip any. Oh. oh, my God. One second. One second. One second. There we go. Out of sync. See? Brushing in. Brushing Forget in. Forget things. Yeah. Should be fine now. Yeah. Um, so we've got four games today. Excellent. One of them is a 5200 game. Oh. And I don't think we ever played a 5200 game on the show before. No, I don't think I have. No. Yeah. Uh, we played 7800 and 8-bit games, but not a 5200 game. Um, we're going to be playing <laughs> Hero's Journey. This is an exclusive premiere mm -hmm. um, by Satyr's Faction. We also have Solar Plexus from 2005, Pass Through from 2010, and brand new Magical Fairy Force by Average Software. Nice who is uh, very active in the Discord chat, oh, in the homebrew nice. uh, section of the Discord chat. Nice. Um, I want to thank uh, all of our Twitch subscribers for supporting the show. Yeah. Al Nefer, Clapton Classic, uh, Dianoid, Dan ABC, Glenn, Main, Grant, Grey Defender, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Janzel, NL, John Enitrio, Enitro, Johnny WC23, Jupiter Storm 17, Carl G, Croco 2600, Mark Space Inc., MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Money Funster, Nathan Strum, Pack Rat, VJRC70, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Sir Cat Legs, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spicer, Estramiris 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Dunkus, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. Thank you very and much. And you can support yes. the show as well <laughs> mm -hmm. for free by subscribing. Um, by uh, linking your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and clicking subscribe. Or you can just follow the Twitch channel so that you can be alerted when we go live on the air, which we are right now if you're watching live. If you're not watching live, you're just watching it in, in the, the future, future. Yes. of us in the past on YouTube. Yeah. Um, but uh, make sure you subscribe to YouTube as well so you know when our new videos go up. And, you, and Facebook and Instagram and uh, Twitter and all the rest of those. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching live, too. Uh, MK Smith is in the chat. All these people that are uh, chatting today. D-Train 37, Kev Kelly, Ground Troop Resumers 2008, Muddy Funster, MK Smith. All these names sound so familiar, like I just read them out. Uh, Dan AVC, Gray Defender. Hey, Gray. Um, and the D-Train and Muddy Funster just resubscribed before the show. Very nice. Thank so you. They Keep their name on that list. On the list, yeah. <laughs> Pack Rap VG, uh, Lance Aren't Strong, mm -hmm. and everybody That's else. Great name, by the way, yes. <laughs> and everybody else mm -hmm. who is uh, watching us live on Twitch. Yeah. Hi, Kitty. Are you watching live? Yes, Pixel and Atari in the hall are Atari. watching live as well. Come here. They're in the room. Yeah. He loves being on the list. The train <laughs> says, Come here. Come on, cats. No, they're too excited. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. No, no. Two, 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 two hands. That's too <clears> much. <throat> so, mail news and feedback. Altira 3.9, which is an 8-bit 5200 emulator, mm -hmm. um, has been updated to 3.9, um, which we're going to be using later on the show. Mm. And so it's the emulator that we'll be using to play the 5200 game, Magical Fairy Force. <clears throat> Um, it says, thanks for everyone's continuing support, whether it be bug reports, feature requests, discussion, trying out the helper programs on real hardware, etc. Um, although previous versions tended to be about six months apart, it's almost been a year since 3.2, so I figure I better hurry up. And yeah, we'll be using that emulator at the end of the show for the last uh, game. 
Uh, Muddy Funsters, uh, who is in the chat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 7800 Puzzle Slash Shooter Homebrew uh, for for the 7800 EXO has been updated, and he released released a uh, another video mm-hmm. of the updates. So we're going to play the video and take a look at that. Uh, just a little clip of it. Uh, so let me load that up. And it looks super fun. And um, he says he's going to keep me up to date on that so that we can uh, check it out on the show. That'll be a lot of fun. Let me just mute that. Bring it over here. And he posted it on YouTube and Facebook as well. So let's skip over. He talks a lot in the beginning about the updates, but let's just take a look at it. Yes. Um, so there's a nice title screen. Yeah. Um, he's using a music, C64 Ooh, music. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cybernoid. So it's um, it's kind of a tunnel shooter okay. game yeah, yeah. where it has some uh, puzzle elements. Um, I guess I could turn on the music a bit. Let's see. Here we got this, the spinner traps. So you oh, no, he's it. talking. That'll be uh, very distracting. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you can see so there's some puzzle elements of you mm-hmm. have to get by things mm-hmm. and you have to also watch out for things that are shooting you nice. or falling, falling on you. And you do have um, a shot, um, nice. a gun. And that's a checkpoint, the green television screen. So those are those are falling. You can shoot those. Of course, he just exploded. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it is a kind of a maze as well where you can backtrack and go pick up things and then go bring them back, like gotcha. keys or... So you have to move it at a certain speed. There you go. So you have to kind of remember where you've been and what you yeah. pass and what you can't get it's into. It's like, oh, I need something for that door. I have to go gotcha. get something and go bring it back. So he says, I've been working on EXO a lot recently and it's now mm-hmm. starting to look like a game with lots of the engine fleshed out. Nice. The latest update vid was well received. So here's another one. Comments, suggestions, feedback appreciated. Was going to drop the vid on the first post, but I can't edit Oh, never mind. Um, so from the YouTube post, it says latest update on EXO, previously Project EXO, mm. uh, lots of new features in the game engine. What does EXO mean? This will be covered in a future video. Feel free to have a guess in the comments. Mm. So it looks like it's almost, uh, an acronym now, and it didn't look like an acronym before because mm. it was a capital E and then a lowercase X and O. Not many words start with X. I was going to say, <laughs> um, Yeah. So you, so you saw that where, um, let's just go back. Yeah. So you have to turn those off yeah, to get that. Obviously. So you have to find a way to turn to those turn off. Them so off. Yeah. That's, that's the puzzle. That's the puzzle element. Yeah. yeah. Very neat. So I'm really looking forward to it. This is it the type really of games cool. I like. Yeah. I mean, I'm not so much for the maze aspects. I'm more linear yeah, I maze. know you're not a big fan of mazes. Because but... I have to write them down because I can't remember them. Yeah. That's the problem. Well, it depends how complex the mazes are too. Like sometimes yeah. it's pretty obvious the paths that you have to choose and but then it's there's... more of a matter of remembering where things are. And... and as long as there's not too much backtracking, y- I'm pretty y- good with yeah. it. Yeah. Well, if there's like, oh, just screens and screens yeah. and screens yeah. of like, oh, I have to do this again. I have to shoot all these guys again. Yeah. Um, like some of... Um, some of the games that we've been playing on the 2600 from uh, uh, VHZCs. Yes. Where he started to introduce some backtracking. Well, he's had yeah, it on some of the yeah. games, mm-hmm. but, but it's not very far. And and he no. also turns those mazes around so that they feel different in the other direction. Well, I like that a lot. Yeah. 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 Where, where, where you, you different. have different paths and you can yeah. see your alternate path, but you just can't necessarily access it yet. So, yep. yeah. Oh, Met. New subscriber, Metal Atari 1969. Very Thank cool. you so much. Welcome to the show. That's a new name. Yeah. Um, Cybernard was a big inspiration, Muddy Funster mm-hmm. says. And because Kev Kelly says, reminded me of games like Cybernator. I have seen games like this before. Oh, he can pass through it. <laughs> I guess he's got something now that allows him to pass, pass through it. I've been watching. It, yeah. um, so that looks really, really looks awesome. Really good. Yeah. And Very I can't impressive. wait Very to exciting. play it on the show. Yeah. Um, you said 5,200. No, that one is a seventy eight hundred. Seventy eight hundred, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not many games are made for the fifty two hundred. Okay. Very, very okay. few. So yeah. it's it's quite a extraordinary thing we have nice. one tonight. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was asking last episode about the X E G S. We're a bit over. I'm gonna turn that down. We're a bit 
overexposed. Yeah, it's and funny. It's like, you mentioned that the moment you turned the camera on, I was like, oh, I look very... Uh, very white. Illuminated today. <laughs> there we go. That's a bit more natural. That's mm. a bit, it was a bit crazy. A little white. Yeah, a little bit. It's a problem when you, when you wear a white shirt, too. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, your white shirt's still blown out. Well... It's okay. Yeah. Um, so I asked about the XEGS keyboard. Yes. Last episode, because yes. I have an XEGS, and I don't have a keyboard, and I was like, yeah. how many games can I not play without the keyboard? Mm. Um, and uh, somebody kindly replied in the Atari Age forum, oh. private messaged me about oh. that. And he says, I watched your latest stream and heard you have an XEGS without a keyboard. Me too. I use the XEGS purely as a console. The mm. lack of keyboard will prevent playing some games, but you can still play quite a few games without the keyboard. Mm. Basic rule of thumb, simpler arcade type games don't need a keyboard, while more computer type games do. Mm. Ones where you have to type, obviously, mm. more RPG-ish, where there's that like makes sense, 10 yeah. different keys for different abilities, yes. things like that. Yeah. Ones that don't have menus, but I have see that, yeah. typing. Um, some games use the space bar as a second button, but you can still play them if you forego that feature. For example, Defender uses the space bar for smart bombs, but then you'll be without smart bombs in the game. That's and the you thing. kind of want smart bombs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you can play the first few levels of Minor 24 Niner until you get to the first level with the elevators. Um, then you're stuck because you need a keyboard to control the elevators. The 8-bit database at AtariMania.com is very useful because it lists which controllers use each game uses. Mm. Then there are some carts, like multi-carts, that don't need the keyboard per se, but don't work unless the keyboard's plugged in. That's very, interesting. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, do you have a keyboard? No uh, keyboard, no game. Nope. Uh, yeah. Very frustrating. Um, but there's a workaround. Just jumper across the fifth and sixth pins of the lower row of the keyboard port. Ooh. Uh, this tricks the XEGS <laughs> into thinking a keyboard is connected. <laughs> yeah. I can do that, but that sounds dangerous. Yeah. Did you know that the XEGS has missile command built in? I did, actually. <laughs> I just couldn't remember what game it was, but I knew it had a it's game something built in. Built in yeah. Just turn on the unit without a keyboard and without a cartridge, and it'll boot to missile command. Mm. One more thing, there are some cartridges that won't work with the XEGS because they're incompatible with the XE operating system. Gorf, Demon Attack, and Astro Chase, just off the top of my head. Um, there's a workaround for this too. Video 61 sells a translator cart that will boot the XEGS with the older Atari 400-800 OS letting you play those games. And I looked that up. You have to plug in this cartridge first mm. and then take out the cartridge while it's still on and then plug in the cartridge you want to play. Mm. Um, he says he's done it a bunch of times. Like I followed up and asked him back and forth. And he says he's done it a bunch of times. He says, yeah, it's a little bit scary, but it does work. Hmm. Um, so I decided to get a keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> because that just sounds too limiting, especially if we're going to play some bit. games on I'm the sure show. Th I'm sure there, there are plenty of games that there can are. be played. But um... but if you come across like a homebrew that I want to play, mm. and, and you need, the keyboard, you need a kind key, of... or they've said... S yeah. for start. Yeah. I don't have S. Yeah. I can never I start the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't really want to miss out on that. Um, so right now I'm talking with somebody um, who is selling a keyboard. Oh, And good. he's just looking up the shipping right now. Yeah. I always wonder, I mean, the problem with older systems is really the connections, right? Like it's not like someone has created yeah. a keyboard you can plug in in its oh, place. No. No. <laughs> you, no. Have to, you have to get the keyboard. The keyboard, yeah. I mean, some... Some systems, people have made new versions, but yeah. there's no point in making, especially a keyboard. That's yeah. very complicated to make. There's a lot of moving parts. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. People have made new joysticks because there's like left, right, up, down, and fire button for basic ones. It's much more simple, yeah. Um, I heard booting Missile Command with the T held down plays the real trackball control. Oh, mm. that's exciting, actually. Um, so, yeah, track? so yeah. I've got... An SD-based multi-card on the way, okay. and a keyboard pending. So we'll be diving in, probably maybe even do a whole 8-bit day. Yeah, cool. Once both of those come in. Nice. Play a whole bunch of 8-bit games. That'll be a lot of fun. Hmm. Um, so I'll be taking requests for your favorite kind of mm. action games. We're not going to get into like RPGs where uh, it takes a long time to start okay. going and stuff, but more action games. That'll yeah. be fun. Mm -hmm. um, so we've hit the six-month mark. It's June. And I was just talking with Tanya the other day. It's like, oh, I should be starting to think about the homebrew, <laughs> yeah. the next homebrew awards. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, you're crazy. It's 
I'm like, a long really? way away. Isn't yeah. That, isn't that like a long way away? Yeah. But no, you have to prepare for these. And this is kind of when I started thinking about it last year. I guess and that's it, true. There's a lot of pieces that have to go in place. Like yeah. you guys just see the end result of it. It's like, <laughs> it is what? It took an hour and a half to do. No, there's a lot of people to talk to and a lot of information well, to arrange. You were also saying that the company that made the trophies last year must be, you know, trying to seek out some business yeah. co post COVID and everything. I think they're eavesdropping because they contacted me the day after I mentioned it to you. Oh. <laughs> They're like, hey, do you need some yeah. trophies? <laughs> yes, like, I do. Wow. <laughs> Not yet, but yeah. very, very soon. Funny. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, and I, and I have to work out um, the awards. Yes. Whether I'm going to add more awards, change the names of awards, rearrange it a bit. There are always reasons to kind of rejig adjust. things a little and adjust they were pretty so. good last year but yeah. i i, I want to slightly change things yeah just a little bit so yeah that it provides more opportunity for more awards yeah i and i wonder if you know if people have suggestions if they should oh they have lots of oh i bet <laughs> i actually take i took suggestions at the end of the last one the last one yeah. and I, I have them all written down oh that's good yeah and it's helpful yeah. it's good to have in feedback but a lot of the suggestions are like here's one on this side and here's one on this side and you can't do both so people want it one way and one way and another yeah. people want the other way and yeah it's 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 yeah. so, you can never so in the end i just decide yeah and i just go it's going to be this way wow. and you can't you, you're going to make you're some never going to make upset. everyone happy all the time right that's unfor unfortunate but yeah. as balanced you just try to keep it as balanced as possible right yeah. i try and keep it interesting and fun yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um so let's get into the first game, uh, which is Hero's Journey by Satyr's Faction. This is an exclusive premiere nice. that oh, we have. My goodness! What did he just he he just came out with? What is Pantheon? <laughs> yeah, Pantheon. And yeah. so then he's just come out it's with like another his one. Fifth game. Really? Um, local hero. Yes. Um, Pantheon. Wow. Um, it's another game. I didn't write it down. And then there's Hero's Journey. Okay. And he did another game as well. Wow. Yep. Yeah. I welcome Cafe Man 2D. Yes. So, uh, notes from Satyr's Faction. He said, well, I wanted to make a real RPG for the Atari. Mm. My inspiration was games like Wizardry and Bard's Tale, which I played on the Apple II back in the 80s. Of course, I had to simplify. Since there's no way to save your progress unless you're using Stella or, you know, a save key or Atari box, um, it needed to be playable in one sitting. Instead of rolling up full characters, I just have you pick three classes of character with their own special skills. I felt it was important to preserve the concept of gaining levels and by buying better and better equipment. I also felt that characters' deaths should be permanent, at least until you save up enough to have them resurrected. Mm -hmm. If the whole party dies, you're out of luck, though. This is an important aspect of these types of RPGs, I think. You can just restore, if you can just restore the game, it loses something. Mm -hmm. um, also, you start out pretty weak. There will be a lot of going, on, going into the dungeon, killing a few monsters, and going back to town to rest and buy new equipment. Gotcha. Don't go too far until you get more powerful. Hi, Tari. Hello, sir. You coming to, yes, to he, play? Yes, he wants to play. Hero's Journey, yes. Um, the best combination to start with is Knight, Rogue, and Wizard. So, let's get into it. Okay. He's provided this handy-dandy little sheet here. Nice. Hero's Journey. For our um, reference? Yep, for our reference, oh, which he usually, nice. usually does. Well, thank you for subscribing, subscribing Metal... Atari. Metal Atari. Metal Atari. Metal Atari. Like, almost like metallurgy. Metallurgy? Metallurgy. <laughs> but it's Metal Atari. I didn't, yeah. Because there's I two didn't L's there. That, um, association, but yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, Atari is all over the place today. Calm down. Atari Oculus. Too much up and down. Now he's sat on the floor. Uh, of course. Mm. So let's get the Atari going. Boom, boom. Oh, good. Okay, Hero's Journey. Uh, I'll switch over so we can see it. And I'll pick today's date, Hero's Journey. There we go. I'm starting? Um, yeah. Okay. So, um, we have to use the game reset, which is unfortunate. <laughs> For no reason at all. <laughs> so you have to press game reset to start. Okay. And it's a very strange selection screen. Um, okay. But this is just the first iteration of the game. So gotcha. you have to go 
So you're picking your character. So you can only go to the right, not to the left and go back. Okay. So what he suggested is we pick a knight, a rogue, and a wizard. So you press the button to pick. So there's also an oracle in there. So pick the next one. Or no, you didn't even pick, did you? Oh. That was the last one. Oh, so you did pick them. Oh, it's very, very faint. Okay. Yeah, I can see them on here. It's the... Oh, on the side? Yeah. Knight, oh. Rogue, and Wizard. Yeah. Oh, it okay. should probably be a little brighter or a different so color. So now what? <laughs> um, now we have to press Game Reset again. <laughs> <laughs> Even though a button could work. There we go. <laughs> okay. Now we can see the names. Ah, so there now I we're am. in the town. So let me read it out. The journey. Your quest is to delve into the dark dungeon and claim the fire gem from the dragon. Nice. It won't be an easy task, and you'll have to gain experience and buy the best equipment to even hope to succeed. As you gain power, you're able to go deeper and deeper into the dungeon, aided by the artifacts and your party's special powers. Uh, the party. Your party will consist of three adventurers. Choose among the knight, oracle, wizard, rogue, and siren. Each have specific powers. Knight is the best fighter. Mm -hmm. That's usual. Yep. The oracle can remove curses and see secret doors. Ooh. Uh, the wizard can shoot flames and teleport back into town. Ah, that's good. That's, that's a good really trick. really yeah. good. Yep, that's yep. why he said pick the wizard. Yeah. Uh, the rogue can sneak the party away from monsters. Mm -hmm. That's very, very good. And open chests with no risk of traps. Nice. Uh, the siren can heal wounds. All about the treasure, yes. Siren's good too. Yeah. Siren can heal wounds and make monsters temporarily fall asleep. Oh, well that's nice too. That's really good. I mean, if you have the wizard you can, and you can just jump back to town. You can then, heal back. Then it. you can heal. So you, yeah. you would need one or the other, I think. Definitely. If you're yeah. yeah. All these uh, skills have a better chance of success as the party goes up in level. Mm -hmm. Level three is the highest that can be achieved. So he's not a, it's not an extensive game. It's not huge. So. Mm. Level one, two, three. Mm. Uh, if the adventurer name terms yellow, he is injured. Mm. Red, critically injured. And green, cursed. Oh. So we're in the town right now. The town, uh, you can purchase various items and services. So go all over the place. You can rest at the inn. Revive at the tavern. The, yep, tavern the, probably. Train at the gym. Gym. <laughs> the gym, yep. Uh, it's a store. You've got a sword. Go up and down. Up. Staff. Sword. Bigger sword. Shield for 50. Armor for 100. Uh, Even bigger shield for 150. So um, who gets what? Do I assign things? He didn't give any instructions. So... I have 200. I so. think you sh either share one Staff or you buy plus. it individually. Hmm. Well, if you look at the prices, so you have two hundred. I have two hundred. Right so, if I say get a staff, now I a what staff I, for a wizard, a sword for a knight. Yeah. So what happened? No, it gave it to the knight. How did yeah. you know? Because it flashed. Oh, you have to hold down the button, I believe. Do you? Yeah, for assigning it. There. So you've got the staff for the wizard. Of course, you can't sell it back. Uh, I just bought two. Two staffs. So the knight has a staff and the wizard has a staff. The rogue. Should I get a sword for the rogue? Probably. Yeah. Doesn't matter. You only have so much money, so I would start. Okay. So I would give the knight a sword too. The knight has a staff. I guess it's good enough. I mean, for now. Now I would save your money because the inn to rest is 100 each. Well, and do I want to train? Uh, 200? Well, I can't, so that no. doesn't matter. Um, that's all your money Revive is 200, with. and then 25 to rest. So, yep. do I get a shield for 50, or do I use it all? Yeah, it's mean you can only rest twice. Yeah, the game UI is is a little awkward at the moment. Yeah. But it is the first iteration. I yeah. guess it's just the basics. Shield. Should I get a shield? The rogue has a sword. Can you switch them? Probably not. You're probably stuck once you've yeah. assigned He didn't give any instructions mm. on how to actually do any of this. I... Do you, can you have a staff and a shield? I don't know. Okay, let's give someone a shield. Probably the knight, because he only has a... Yeah. Okay. Now you're down to 50. Anyone else? Or just leave you the You keep 50? your money. Keep, keep the it. money. <gasps> okay. okay. So 
That's a secret wall. Oh. I'm guessing the rogue could see through. No one can see it. Oh, no. You it was the wizard. To... Was it nope. the wizard? Ah. The wizard. No. Ah. Oracle. No. That is, what is that bad dude? So that is a goblin. Ah. Uh, Ooh, mischievous imps such as these ward off inexperienced travelers. So there's spiders, snakes, goblins, blobs, mummies, chimera, cyclops, wraiths, and demons. So should I? So the way this works is moving around doesn't do anything. Okay. So I had to figure this out beforehand. So hold okay. down the button. Yeah, hold it down. And then move to the right. And you can either... F oh, he's level one fighting. Oh, oh. he killed him. There you go. Yay, you got money. 25 gold. Woo. So that's how it <gasps> works. Oh my god. You might want to run with the wizard <laughs> when it's his turn. Oh, I can't go anywhere. No, you're stuck. Oh, it's, it's kind of goes into combat fight. mode. Okay. Moving around doesn't do anything. You're just kind of in combat now. So move to the right to see all your options. So some of them are empty. Yeah. So I guess that means you don't have the thing. And the rogue is injured now. The rogue is? Because he just went <gasps> He pink. went red! Yeah. Or oh, no. critically injured. So you can fight, sneak away, which everybody sneaks away, I think. Should I try? Open? Um, you might want to You might want to sneak because he's critically injured. Now should... he's critically injured. Yeah. Now it's the wizard's turn. You can fight. What else? I don't know. I don't know their life. Fight flame. Ooh. Okay. What else? Port. That teleports back to town. Yeah. You I only get one might, shot. You might want to do that because you don't have any enough money to resurrect your rogue if he dies. Yeah, but can't I rest? Rest won't bring them back from the dead. What did you do? Fight? Fight. Uh, okay. Flame them. Flame. Okay. Well, there's still three of them left. Meh. That's the noise of not hitting them, is the meh. See, I gave the rogue a, a um, open. There's no, there's nothing here. Thank you, Cafe Man 2 d oh, for resubscribing. Seven months. Simple, but I guess it gets the point across, Kev Kelly says. Hey, Arena Foot, welcome. You're gonna die. <laughs> oh, you got one. The rogue got one. Yay. Oh, Knight got one. One left. Will the rogue die? Or will the goblin oh, die? Oh, I should have fought. Why did I fight? Yay! Yay! I would teleport back to town now. Can I? Or walk back, but you could encounter somebody. Now you have to go down to the wizard. Oh, you can. Ah! There. And it failed. Let's try again. Come and on. try again. <gasps> no! Okay, so, so if I you've rest, got 75. That should bring them back to full. Yay! Yay! So now you've started exactly off where you were before. <laughs> it's okay. Let's go kill some spiders. <laughs> also need starboard, aft, and stern commands. <gasps> bow, I think aft and stern. Or oh. bow. bow. Oh no! Fine. Oh, oh knight's injured. Knight is dead. Oh, no, that's not good. Nope. <sighs> oh, come on. <laughs> I played this just, just barely before this. I found the enemy... I found the, either the number of times you're able to hit them is so low, like you miss most of the time, and they're able to injure you very easily and kill you very easily. It's a little imbalanced towards their side. Yay. One's dead and one's injured. I would definitely teleport or walk back to town really quick. Let me port. 
There we go. So, I think... Rest again, for sure. Yeah, but it doesn't bring dude back. Not if you don't have 200. Uh, yeah, it's definitely challenging. So you're actually going down. You're, you're getting worse. I haven't worse. actually gotten better. Well, because... Uh, uh, damn you. What are those things? They're so tight. The spiders? Yeah. Oh, they're so faint. And maybe it should, um, did you kill one? No. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, now it's dead. Because maybe it should stick to, like, spiders and snakes at first, and then move up to the harder things. And I feel in most games, you're able to hit them easier. Like, you're missing a ton, right? Oh, continuously. There we go. There we go. Could be a trap. Yep, you're dead. I thought the rogue. I thought the rogue is supposed to prevent traps. No, you have to use the open spell. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. You should have said when, that before. I don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing it's not on here. Okay. Okay. Pick your party. I'm going to suggest uh, doing the same. Is it night? And... Wizard and Rogue, right? Okay. Reset it. My turn. Scan line count issues. Oh. Yeah, on the death. On yeah. the definitely scan line count yeah. issues on the death. Yeah. A little, little all over the place. So let's pick some scan line yeah, issues. Yeah, definitely there. definitely go for the swords. Because there's no point in not using all of that. Yeah, so sword for the knight. The knight. Staff for the wizard, I guess. I don't know. Or a sword. I don't know. Swords for everyone. Well, or get a staff plus for the wizard. Right. Because you have... Yeah, and then... Rogue? I don't know. Another sword. Then I'm down to Do you 25. only get one? Or, like... I don't know. Sure. I don't... I don't... I don't know if... Oh! Does that show what they have? Weird. Um, because I don't know if this, actually maybe I think this might be for everyone. Everyone gets this. Really? Because why you choose them though? When I press it, yeah, it disappears, mm. and it just highlights the first person. Like, but that's what it does when I press it here too. Okay, uh, press it yeah. and cycle through. No, no, not there. Away. Press yeah. it and cycle through. Fight. So what is that? Sword? Hand? Sorry. Um, oh, they all have swords. Go down to the wizard. Yeah. Yeah. Fight? No. Okay. Hand. Flame. Hand. That's a flame. Yeah. Keep going. Port. That's like a spell? I don't know. Those symbols might be spell. Yeah, but then go, if you go to the knight. Fight is level one. Fight level one. Fight level one. This is sneak. Nothing flame so these are their spells so he can't fight the rogue he doesn't have a weapon you have to give them a weapon oh no, no he, he has can't fight. fight they all have fight okay i'm very confused so i think they all have the same weapon you think so yeah hmm. needs an inventory yeah. screen or something something like if you hovered over them and and icons appeared or something like when you pick them then yeah. it would tell you what they're equipped with yeah. maybe something like that because you kind of need to know if they have a sword or a staff or it's very confusing yeah but why would they offer a staff at 25 then if they all shared the same thing mm. i would just get them a plus sword i think you have to get them one each but how do you select who gets it well you do didn't you say you, you push and hold it and then you select them well i'm gonna like say i go to this yeah i press the button it jumps to the center oh and now I'm just like on normal select. I can move around. This is yeah, not. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And then you've lost money though. Yeah. So it did buy it. Yeah. I don't know. So I'm going to. Oh, I can't. <gasps> I don't know. So mm. I, I don't know what I have. That's the problem too. Mm. I'm not sure what sword I have or armor or anything. And like. 
you could get sword and armor or sword and shield or yeah i could get a, an There's... armor and i could get no i couldn't get that not Sh anymore you could get a shield a good sword yeah and a good armor i could get yeah or and get a shield or a shield yeah, yeah so get sword a shield, a shield. now because you might as well see and i bought it right yeah so i'm guessing they share it like it's a party thing or the knight has it all. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Needs something hard. to report their current hit points. Yeah. Yes, it does. Like yes. just below them. Like yeah. um, the way he has it. Or even, even like, I don't, I don't know if a it's meter. possible, but a meter. Yeah. Yeah. It could even be on the name of the person. Like the mm -hmm. knight, it could go down. Like it's all white right now. And then yeah. as it drains, it can turn red, 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 red. Or yellow, yellow, yellow all the way down the name. Or I mean, they do change colors as they're hit, but what yeah. I want to what I want is hit points. Well, I can't points. go through that anymore. Mm. Yeah, you're stuck. Oh, oh, there's spiders. Them. Yeah, the spiders are very dark. <laughs> yeah. Fight, everyone, just fight. Fight, fight. Well, you're not gonna flame fight. the wizard. I think the flame is better for the wizard. Yeah. Flame. Get him! Get that spider! My cats! If if if. If this was Pixel and Atari fighting, those spiders would be destroyed. Yep. Just destroyed. Can you guys hear it? I don't know if you can hear it. Is it, is it loud enough? Yeah, it probably is. Yeah, it's, it, yeah there's something it's coming loud. through. Like, how can spiders be this difficult? <laughs> oh, I finally got one. Yeah, After like it does 10 take hits. a while. So the game balancing needs a, a bit of work. Yeah. yeah. And information. Just need more information on who has what. And the knight is damaged. I've hit these spiders 20 times. I mean, yeah, they could be a big spider. Like in Lord of the Rings Yay! level spider. And no... No gold. So now I have a, a, you damaged, have to rest. Yeah. a damaged knight and I have to spend the rest of my money on resting. Yeah. Zero, zero gold. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, need something to report their current hit points and how much yeah. damage they're dealing and taking. Like, just, just once. Like, what the enemies have, what you have, just something. Mm. Some kind of information. Oh, yeah, definitely some line count issues. Yeah, when it flips. It is definitely flickering. Oh, oh, hidden wall. Woo! Oh, yeah. Pretty big, pretty big area. Mm-hmm. And I like that you can move and then it flips rather than a just a pressing button and then the whole thing, yeah. button, whole thing. You're moving into the next area, which kind of gives more of an indicator of yeah. the, the direction you're going, which is very, very good. Kind of hidden rooms. Oh, <gasps> what is that? Chimera. Chimera. Ooh, I bet he's hard. He's going to kill you. Oh, yeah. And... Oh, and your wizard's dead. And the knight's damaged. <laughs> Not a good sign. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not a good sign. Oh and no. And the knight's dead. And we have no money. And the rogue's almost dead. Critically hit. I guess I'd ventured too far. Oh, and that's a stable dead. screen. Ish. A little, a little <laughs> bit more stable. A little bit better. Oh, welcome back. What's the difference between selecting L1 than the sword icon? Let's let's take a look. At L1 those. is just the level. It's a knight, uh, wizard, rogue. <laughs> so let's go for the big weapons this time. Mm. So we wanted a sword and a armor, or sword and shield. Sword and shield. Sword and. Sh then we have some left over for or healing. Or sword and armor. The armor yeah. might help. So then we have no money left well, for healing. True. Yeah, sword so, and shield. Sword. Shield. But it flashes the red knight, so it's I do think you're this. right. It's because of this. Yeah, but if you hold it, you can switch it. So I think you're right. I think you do have to pick the person. No. No, I, 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 I think you are assigning both of those to the knight. Sword? Sword? Oh. See that? Oh, you might be right. Who said that? Captain Classic. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because mm. he has a sword and a shield now. Yeah, and if you go to the wizard, if you go to the wizard. L1. Hand. And he has no he weapon has no, at all. He has no weapon at all. Ah, uh, you might 
be right. Yeah. Oh, maybe I have to select it beforehand. Because I'm on the rogue now. If I go to the knight, I'm like, I'm buying for the knight. Oh, maybe. Now we go to the rogue. Let's just try and buy him something. A staff. Buy staff. him a staff. And then and the it... wizard, buy the wizard a staff. There you go. No, that's sneak. Doesn't matter. It's showing, it's scrolling through and showing you what he has. It's showing your inventory and your options at the same time. Oh. I think that's what it's doing. Um, Rogue is, is level one. Has, has, a, has staff, a staff. And then that's probably regular clothing or something. It's not armor. Okay. That makes sense. So if I go sense. up to the wizard, he's level one. Hand and regular clothing. And if you go to the knight. Can only go down. I wish he yeah. could go up. No, up's nothing. He's got a plus sword. A plus sword. And a shield. A shield. But not a plus shield. It looks like underwear, but that's okay. So, <laughs> so it does have He's inventory. He's got his underwear on. <laughs> it does have inventory. Okay, so maybe we'll be able to fight better now. Oh god. Snakes. Three Woo. snakes. Kill those snakes. So I don't need to go to that to fight, right? Is he dead? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um, fight. Yes. Just fight. Just fight. And a wizard's damage. Flame, flame, flame. I think it's more powerful. Oh, I have no idea actually. Oh, you got one. Oh, see, yeah. Your wizard doesn't have any anything to fight with, so you might right. as well use flame. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, Doing yeah. better now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now you need to rest. Yeah. But that's not a. Yeah, that's Port. a staff. Okay. Yeah. So we need to go to. Port. Or maybe it won't let you port. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one thing I would say... It oh, just my fails goodness. a lot of time. That's a lot of failure. That's a lot of uh, failing throws there. But I have only 25. I didn't get any treasure. No, I think you need treasure with everything you kill. Yeah. Otherwise, it, this this you don't get anywhere. And a variable amount. You can adjust yeah. the amount later, but yeah. I think you always need an amount. Yeah. I'm wondering if you're better zero. off with the wizard or the siren, because if the siren can heal you, yes. maybe the siren is actually a better option. Rather than a rogue? N rather than a wizard. Well, wizard, yeah, okay. Next time. Oh, spiders. Yeah. Yeah, so the wizard is just punching. Should do better now. Well, the wizard, the wizard does have a flame attack, so that should help. So... I would think the flame attack would be very effective against... Um... So, if I go to the rogue... Oh, he has open. Yeah. And then it can't kill you. Yeah. I didn't get anything. Oh, I got 25, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, you would think a flame attack would be very effective against spiders. Oh, yeah. I yeah. always think of uh, that movie Arachnophobia where oh, they had the flamethrowers. Yeah, that was much better. See, we, if we understand the game, yeah. <laughs> we can play the game. We can actually get a 50. little bit further. So I should get something for the wizard. No, not yet. Not One yet. more. No. One more. Get, get, see if there's another. At least you have the port spell. Or I should get a better weapon for you can the go rogue. Through. I don't want to go too far from town. Uh, no. Well, you can port back to town. Or go too far in. Oh, spider. Yay. Yay, 75. 75. Okay, this is working out better now. Oh. Uh -oh. I shriek through arachnophobia. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've seen that film. Wasn't it John Goodman in that? Yeah. I haven't seen it. No? Looks silly. Uh, I was not a fan of horror films, and it was about as horror oh. as I ever got when I was a kid, so. Need to heal. Oh. Yeah. At least 25 gets you out of the red. That's fine. It's very fair. Yep. 25 is fair. But I need more gold. Mm -hmm. Like, just scraping by. There are things that. to find, you know. There's a magic really? key, a chalice, a ring of invisibility. But I think I have to go deep Fire into the gem. dungeon. Well, nothing wrong. You've got the port spell. True, but the 
very dangerous creatures. I think further further mm -hmm. down you go. I guess you're right. They did say to keep practicing locally before you you get deeper. Once you get used to the menu, it's actually pretty good. It, the menu is is pretty like because it just cycles through. So it's like fight, 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 fight. You can you can cycle through it pretty quick. This is annoying. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm so, gonna buy a weapon for the wizard. Wiz uh, oh, maybe. get this dude. Ugh, injured immediately. Yay, you're at 100 at least. Okay. Okay. There's a the staff plus. For the and wizard, then you can rest. Or sh I should give the rogue a better weapon. Because the wizard still has flame. I'm going to give a staff plus to the wizard. Or to the rogue. Or a sword to the rogue. Oh, I need to rest. I'll give a staff plus. Staff plus to the rogue. Or does it have to be on the road? I think that's what we figured. And then buy it? Yeah. Uh, staff plus. It yep. was correct. Oops. <laughs> I guess okay. I swung my staff in the yeah. air. <laughs> Hit nothing. So uh, now I'll heal. And go back with no money. And hope I don't get hurt. <laughs> Uh, Captain Classic says, I saw sneak for the rogue. Does that mean the rogue can perform a sneak attack for double damage with an edged weapon if they attack first? Read it. Uh, no. What is uh, it sneak? What's the sneak about? Where does it say sneak? Here? Oh, uh, no, the rogue can sneak the party away from monsters. You mentioned oh, so we can before. run away. Yeah. If we want, if we're you getting... You can run away. There we go. Yeah. Killed them pretty easily. Okay. Uh -oh. oh, look at all those goblins. Oh, killed. Nope. 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 Killed. I'm hitting I'm killing them with one hit now. Your knight with the sword is making a huge difference. Still, Still at level one. Yeah. Um, but the knight also has the Oops, spiders. <laughs> Yay. Nice. This is nice because I we've died. You died on opening well, a chest. Well I didn't realize I didn't realize that's what the open spell is. But I mean Everyone died. The whole party died. The whole party died, yeah. So Not just the rogue. That's ridiculous not having a rogue then. Like, you'll just <laughs> die? The whole game's over if you open the wrong chest? Mm -hmm. You never open chests. Mm -hmm. um, so nothing yet? I no, guess. you're fine. You don't need to... You just keep going in circles. Probably a shield. You can next. go to the right there, I think, too. I think there's yeah. a false wall. Oh, maybe not. There was... Ah. What? What? Just, it flipped me over and yeah. there was a chest there. Yeah. What? Really? Yeah. Maybe you can go back to it. Mm, maybe. Oh, this guy's putting up a good fight. Those goblins. There you go. Maybe because I was on the edge of a Open. room? Oops. <laughs> Snuck away from nothing. Uh, I need to get back to town. Now there's no chest. Oh, a spider. Run away. Got it. Oh, good job. Oh, got it. <laughs> Yay. Okay, let's heal. Still on level one. Yeah. Everybody's on level one. Level one. Level one. Uh, okay. I only, I only have 75. What, how much is the armor? I should get, yeah, so you should get some defense now because everybody's getting hit a lot. So the lowest one is There's a, a shield, shield for fi 50 and... I should give somebody a shield. Give the wizard, maybe? Can yeah. you give the wizard a shield? I don't see why not. Maybe he can't carry it. I don't know. Okay. Well, we don't know. <laughs> give him a shield. Wizard, you better have taken that shield. Yep. Okay, good. He's got his he's he's got his magical underwear on. <laughs> <laughs> Only got twenty five left. Okay. Well, I'm getting more stuff. That's good. It's not a tavern. It's a temple. Oh. Guild. Okay. So, um, the town in the town you can purchase various items and services. The inn allows you to rest and heal. The temple will remove curses and revives the dead. The guild offers training. We thought gym guild makes more sense. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, helping your party go up levels faster, and the shop sells many items of weapons and armor. Simply stand up against the shop, and its offerings will appear in the middle of the screen. Press the button to purchase. But I think you were right. You have to pick the person first. Yeah, it's missing yeah. that. Plan carefully, for you can only carry 200 units of gold. Oh, really? Yep. Watch the chat. Am I saying anything? You gotta make, keep up with that. <laughs> so, uh, Captain Classic says the trap chest hurts the entire party. Yeah, that doesn't seem right unless the trap was was a spiked pot trap. <laughs> Roll 20 plus reflex save or take two, 2d 10 plus 6 damage. <laughs> <laughs> 2d 10 plus 6? Oh, God. Yeah, it's... It, pit it, trap. Yeah, pit trap. Everyone pit falls Pit trap in or, like, arrows springing out at everyone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I killed them all. Did I? Yep. And no reward. And somebody's not doing well. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the spiders have treasure. I always wondered at that. Okay, well, I better go heal, because I could die. Mm -hmm. the, the, what is it, guild? Mm -hmm. That's how we go up in the level, right? It can help you go up. It doesn't say... Will? Will. Yeah, okay. it doesn't say will. Immediately pink. Deadly. Almost. Because you're right on top of him. There we go. I don't, I don't. And nothing. And no no money. Oh, what? No reward whatsoever. Oh, no, you, now you need to heal. Oh, no. I'm going to run. Teleport and sneak. Well, you have to fight. Oh. oh, never mind. Fail. Fail. Yeah, really. Yay. Oh, well, that's good at least. Kay. Let's heal back up because we're almost dead. We're... we're going up it's very, good very slowly very i mean slowly. in theory you should be increasing in level points at some point i guess or yeah. maybe the guild is the only way you can go up i don't know it doesn't imply that it just says faster so i still don't have enough to get anything helping your party go up levels faster the guild faster yeah okay. so uh level one level one level one yeah They're all still level ones and i still don't have enough to get them a better anything I guess I could buy a, a staff for a, the wizard, but I or a or shield. A shield for where's the shield? Shield for whoever the rogue? doesn't have it. The rogue. Uh no. Yeah. Okay. Now he should have a shield. Yep. Yeah. So who doesn't have? He has a shield. They all have shields. He has a shield, just normal shields. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right, maybe they are giant spiders like in The Hobbit, uh, Lord of the Rings. They collect treasures from the discarded yes. carcasses of the adventures they eat lying on the cavern floor. I think so. Yeah. Uh, the enemies appear too often? Eh, yeah. Maybe a touch? They I think seem they're a little too rando, powerful. And, and suddenly you, you just even going into the next screen since they, they spawn, which is a little too close to home, if you know what I mean. Like they should yeah. wait a little bit. But, I think um, the percentage of ability to hit the creatures is way too low starting off yeah. like you miss a lot yeah way less than i would think like you're just swinging wildly at them mm -hmm. can you push the right no nope. no go in here nope i don't want to i don't know if i want to venture too far well yeah i guess i could try a bit you can pour it just remember that yeah that's as far as i'm gonna go oh snake does it say different colors? No, the snake is the same color each time, right? Yeah. Theoretically, the higher the creature you fight, the more reward there should be. Right? In, in almost every well, that's game, that's you, the way it hope, works. But you can't hold more than 200 gold, so that's not a lot. They give me nothing! And I'm injured. Injured. <laughs> I think I yeah, want the, the Oracle next time. The 200 gold is a bit of an issue. Ooh. Slime! Yay, slime! Usually that's... Blob. The blob. Usually that's the first thing you encounter. Yeah. It's either rats the rats blob. or the blob. So. And two injured. Wow. 
he's really toxic. <laughs> that blob. Very toxic blob. And everybody's injured now. Oh. This better be some good stuff. Blob. 50 to 25. Mm -hmm. And we have to go back, and I'm not going to take the chance. So we're going to port back. There we go. Because I guess every time you try and port, there's a chance of an enemy. Yeah. So let's just end the game by going deep into the dungeon. Okay. <laughs> See what we can get to. Just go deep until you die kind of thing? Yeah. What happened there? Nothing. I was fighting something, a chest appeared, and I flipped to a different location. Did you get the that money? That happens twice. Were you down to 20, 50 before? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Yeah, there's a couple little little bugs in there. Yeah. Bugs that need to get worked through. The maze is very cool. Oh, blob! I don't know if the flame is actually better than fighting for this. Yeah, but he has no wizard. he has no weapons, so True. probably still better off. Okay, I have fifty. Twenty-five. It's Ugh. always twenty-five. Ugh. Ooh, <gasps> death. Chimera. I'm gonna die. Totally missing, as per usual. Oh, my oh. goodness. Good hit by the knight. So I had 50. Okay, I got 50 this time. You got 50? Yeah. Chimera's worth more money? A little bit. Teleport Ooh. trap, maybe. <laughs> oh, possibly, but I didn't open it. You don't have to. You oh, just you move just, towards it. That's the danger of being on it. On the character. Yeah. You figured it out. Captain Classic. Yeah. That is correct. It was a teleport trap. So don't be on the creature. Don't move. Don't move. So oh, just, I see what you're saying. You right? were on the creature. Yeah, which automatically opened it, mm, which and then teleported, teleported me. you. Yeah, that makes sense. So see, it's always where the creature is. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. So 120 bl glitch. <laughs> 125. 125, so, I assume. Yeah. So not too bad getting there. Yeah, the gameplay is pretty easy with One, with it is. the picking the Very way. Fast. I think that's working really well is picking and fighting. Once you get used to the, the turn-based stuff, is really it is is very easy, Very easy to fast. do. Yeah. It's a Yay. little bit weird at first. <gasps> Wizard is sick. Is he sick or is he? He's red. He's a, he's oh. critically critically ill. Well, let's go back into town. 150. Yeah. Or you can keep going, depending on what you want to do. Well, I'm actually doing well. <laughs> so. Rest. And what does everyone have? They all have shields. Mm -hmm. What can you get? You get armor. armor. If you want to give someone armor. Let's give somebody armor. Who, who uh, gets hit all the time? It's random. Yeah. You could see, yeah. Our, uh, knight, because I like the knight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'll pick the knight first. Armor. And then, what does armor look like? Oh, there Ooh, it is. Very armor. Nice. How about you get the wizard? What, what's, oh, 25. You no, might as well hold on to enough. 25. Yeah. Delve do, do, deep do, into do, the dungeon. Do, 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 do. Oh, goblins. Dead. Nice. Dead. Dead. Wow. What? Are, what's your level? You're still level one? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Is everybody level one? Level one, level one, level one. Hmm. It's funny, you can fight nothing. <laughs> mm hmm. Oops. Get them. Get those spiders. Again. My cat's way more efficient. Yep. Tari, are you an efficient spider killer? Who brought the, uh, this dude? Oh, it's him. Did he bring? Look what our cat brought yeah, down. Yeah, he brought, he brought a fluffy bunny for us to play with. This poor, this poor guy. Hmm? Come on. 
this this can be a very good RPG game. Yeah. It's got all the basic elements. It's got all the elements in there, yeah. Like yep. Some game balancing. And now that we know that there actually is inventory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we figured that out, yes. Um, it took a little bit. Yeah. Let's go down into the dungeon. There's some false walls. So I think I hit a dead end. No. Oh. oh, spider. Yeah, they miss way too many. There we go. Yay. No treasure. Anything, anything, anything. I attack the darkness. <laughs> it's an old meme, but it checks out. Oh, that's a through. Did I... Oh, that's where I came from, right? Or is it casting magic missile at the darkness? Maybe. Fight. Let me move out of the way so I don't step on a... Trap? Step on a trap accidentally. Woo, this guy is proving to be difficult. One guy. There we go. Nothing. Nothing. Boo. Not enough treasure. Oh, come here. See, look at that. I teleported through a wall. Mm -hmm. Move out of the way. It's a really weird mechanism, though. <laughs> that you can move around yeah. freely. Oh, wizard's hurt. Oh, no. This may be the end of me. Oh, critical. Critic, too critical. Oh. Oh, and nothing. There was something. He turned into a... And it teleported me. Like, I was Did there, it? and it oh. put me there, even though I wasn't on the chest. But you moved away from him, so maybe it didn't teleport you when you moved away. It teleported you when the, when the guy died. Because you know how you moved around him after it, you started fighting? Yes. So that might be the issue. It's re it's readjusting you in the map. Oh. And you lost your... your... Maybe. Well, I yeah. think we have looked through that enough. I think yes. we've seen almost everything. Yes. Not the... Not the hard, hard creatures. No, we haven't played with the other characters either, but that's okay. We haven't seen the dragon. We haven't found the magic key or the chalice or the yep. ring of invisibility or the fire gem. <laughs> we didn't gem. get very far. <laughs> didn't get very far. But we get, we, we gave it a good first uh, kick, right? Yes, so. we did. Um, some good stuff in there. I do like it. Yep. Yeah, I like it too. It plays well. Yep. Um. So there you go, Hero's Journey. And let's move on to the next game. That's by Satyr's Faction. It is not downloadable. He has not, not put yet. it out yet. Okay. Um, don't know if he's going to. He's pretty... He keeps keeps the games close to himself. Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't put out a lot for the public. No. Um, so hopefully he'll he'll maybe adjust some things and put yeah. this one out. Because mm -hmm. I think people will enjoy playing I this I think so, yeah. It's been pretty good. Can you pick up a helicopter backpack? That would be the Hero's, Hero's Journey. Journey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> good one, Nathan. Um... <laughs> Next one's Solar Plexus from 2005 mm. by Jess, Jess Reagan. Um, so let me load that one up and you can start going with that. It's, a, it's an action game, so it's not much to it. Not much learning. I like this one. Ah. Mm. <laughs> What's going on here? Ready. It's going crazy. You can probably see it in the uh, reflection. In the reflection. Who knows? I need to clean the cart. Mm. Doing that more and more recently. Mm -hmm. Ready. Come on. Come on. No. The band is back outside. Yeah. Well, Ready. I guess for 7 p.m. Uh, Celebration. Celebrations. Thank you Ready. to the uh, healthcare workers. Yeah. But oh, yeah, I can goodness. hear them out there. Oh, so much, so much trouble right now. <laughs> Blow on it. No. Nope. <laughs> <That's bad. laughs> Ready. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Yep. And is solar plexus. Nice. Um. So first posted July twentieth, two thousand five. This build is from December tenth, two thousand five. Very nice. Um, color cycling uh, title screen, solar plexus on it. Um, Very nice. I like I like that. This a lot. is the only original game they've made. 
Um, they did a bunch of other hacks. Mm -hmm. You can download this in the Atari Age forums. Um, so go for it. And you collect the purple thing and you avoid that. Oh. <laughs> Do you shoot? Uh, no. I don't think so. You can try it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, the button makes you go fast. Oh, okay. So he announced it saying, woohoo, here's a preview copy of my game, which I've dubbed Solar Plexus. I estimated about being 85% complete. Uh -huh. Uh, all that's left to add is sound and play test it thoroughly to check for bugs. Nice! Great game over. Wow, and the sound too. That's amazing. Very nice. Wow. That's, that's uh, really impressive. <laughs> ah. uh, I'm really happy <laughs> with this game, not because I made it, because it's actually fun to play. It starts out slowly and builds up in speed as you collect more and more fuel oh, pods. Goodness. Collect enough and the game slows back down, but the panic level rises. Oh my goodness. Causing the bouncing fireball to grow in size, then split apart. I've that only been able to make it to good. the third panic level myself. How long can you last? I can't. Come on. Ran out of time. Turning is really hard in this game. 90 degree turns. Oh, it's really hard. It's really hard. It doesn't... Uh... Uh, he says, when it's finished, I'm going to talk to Albert to see if he's willing to distribute it through the Atari Age store. It's not quite professionally quality, oh, professional goodness. quality, but I personally think it's good enough to justify a cartridge release. And I'm not sure this got a cartridge release. It's going right for me. I'm ah. not sure about that. Um, let's see. Oh, maybe it did. No, oh, no. Officially released. Let me see this. I don't think it's in the store anymore. Um, Solar Plexus, now available for your Atari 2600 system. An eight-page instruction manual is included with the game, featuring handy tips and exciting storyline and a full color illustration by Nathan Strum and myself. Nathan Strum. We've got a cartridge release. I reviewed it in the store. It was the only one uh, last I checked. You are the, ones who, you're the one who did the uh, graphics for it. Not the graphics, the illustration. That's what it says here. Let me uh, check that out. Um, the game itself was inspired by the 2600 release Solar Fox, which is super fun game if you haven't played Solar Fox. Um, as well as the more obscure Fair Ch uh, Fairchild Channel F game, Dodge It. What are you doing? <laughs> Tap on the button. Die, die, just die. <laughs> just die. Just die. So the button's good for getting past the oh, red thing. It is, but the turning is really, really challenging. The better you get, the more determined it becomes to destroy you. Uh, you zip around the screen grabbing fuel pods while trying to dodge a dead to the fireball. Keep a steady hand on that joystick and you might just live long enough to see its final, most dangerous form. Fans of Twitch gaming should really enjoy Solar Plexus. At just $20, nearly every fan of Atari 2600 can afford it. Pick up a copy today and make it the holidays even happier for that classic gamer in your life. Uh, Nathan Strom said, I did the coloring on the label. I documented uh, coloring Jess's artwork for anyone interested in learning some Photoshop tips in my blog. Look for Making Labels Parts 1 through 7. Uh, Rena Foote says, Solar Plexus is in the upcoming volume 4 of my book. Coincidentally, there you go. No, I didn't think it was in the Atari Age store anymore. So it is gone from the Atari Age store. I wonder why. Ran out of labels and just didn't sell well enough to restock, I guess. Let's see. Well, I can't get to that link right now. Let's see if I can get to the link. Great. There we go. Now I can get to that link. Solar Plexus. What starts as out as a routine hunt for salvage in the far reaches of the galaxy turns into a white-knuckled fight for survival in Solar Plexus. The first Atari 2600 release by independent game developer Jess Creations Co. 
It'll take a sharp reflexes to keep your star skimmer full of fuel and away from the wildly unpredictable artificial sun, which threatens to make every move your last. Uh, the solar plexus increases in speed. I think we read that out. Addictive wow. gameplay and a dynamic level of challenge makes solar plexus a great new addition to the Atari 2600 library. Oh, am I done? Yeah. Nathan Strom, I think Jess was just frustrated with the lukewarm reception the game gave. I gave a two out of five. Oh. oh. I mean, the graphics are great. It's challenging and simple. It's very simple. Um, Maybe it's too challenging. Like it goes up and. Yeah, the difficulty. turning is is. Um, like that sped up really quickly. Yeah. Like I, yeah, I, I can really avoid that. He gets that. really fast. <laughs> but it's fun. It is fun. It's a quick little game. Like, oh yeah, it's hard. It, like, see what I mean? It's hard to turn. Like I'm gonna die just because that's so. Oh, there we go. Oh, you got you got him to the next level. He's huge. He's faster. I mean, slower but and your, bigger. Your fuel's gonna. Oof. Oh, wow. Good job. Oh, he stays big. Okay, so I stay on the next level. Oh my god! Come on. Oh, the fuel goes down faster. It does. I made it to the next level. Good job. Good job. It's the speed gets fast too quickly. The key is to stay on the opposite side as him. Yeah. If you can. Oh, it's hard. It is hard. This would be a good homebrew uh, score challenge game. It would be, yeah. I, it's like... Oh my god. I think you must have clipped... Oh, no, you ran out of... Yeah. Fuel. Because it is, it is um, definitely a challenge. Yeah. To stay alive. It's crazy. <laughs> oh! 2890 is pretty good. Ramirez says uh, he's, he's going to check it on Amazon. <laughs> Amazon? Check for it on Amazon Father's Day present to himself. <laughs> this game, you mean? Oh, no, the the part four. Of, part four? Of um, Brian's oh, book. Oh, nice. Yes, is okay. That, that would make to? more sense. That like, would this make isn't more on sense. Amazon. Yep. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. As 06502 says... Um, God, it's too fast. Because it's no longer on the Atari H forum. Uh, I, the community was smaller back then. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the trouble. Now it's a lot bigger. So yeah. there's more more people that would be able to be able to buy it. Yep. It's a pretty cool game. It's It's got all the right elements. I think instead of that speeding up to crazy speeds, it needed some other danger. Mm. Because I can't even avoid it. It's just... It's just too fast. It is fast. I'm just lucky if I don't hit it. Like, staying in one corner is a good strategy, but you can only do that for so long. And then coming out and getting it. Oh. 3580. Mm. <sighs> <laughs> 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 Tense. Tense. I feel like it's falling apart, this this controller. Like, Does it? It feels janky. Oh, I didn't notice, but it might be loosening. Like something's loose in it. Uh, the, um, the joystick? Like the box is loose. Oh, maybe. Like... Oh, yep. What There's a bolt. Out? Oh, a bolt came out. From somewhere. Uh-oh. It's a big bolt. No, no. Oh, the joystick! One of the bolts for the joystick. Oh out. no! Well, that can uh, be replaced. That can be uh, fixed. Ah! And okay. and there you go. Don't lose that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder Phil's Jack. Yeah. Hmm, must not have been uh, screwed in very tight. Nope. I'm guessing it has to be a lot more tight than we put it because yeah, this okay. is joysticks moving around constantly, right? So it's wiggling its way. Smoosh. I can't avoid it. It's too fast. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, it has shallow gameplay. Like, there's not much to it. It's It does repeat mm. over and over again, just harder and faster. Yeah. And it speeds up really quickly to mm -hmm. impossible levels. Another one for you? Sure. Uh, Nathan Strum. My problem is, was it wasn't enough game to hold my interest very long. It's almost like a mini game more than a fully realized one. That's exactly it. Like, how long did I last? A couple minutes? Maybe? I've been lasting that. <laughs> You're just dying on purpose now? No. Oh. No? No, <laughs> I just have, I, 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 I uh, have trouble uh, controlling it. Yeah, it is. I go right into kind it. of a it's mini like... game. I don't know how big it is. What did I say? It's a 4K. Um, and most of that's probably the title screen. Um, and the ending. Yeah, it's a 4K game. So it could be a a really good mini game in like a compilation of mini games. I'm out of the way, but it does adjust it. Joystick's falling apart. Yeah. <laughs> it's not too bad right now. Only oh, one out yeah. of four bolts are, have come out. It's a homemade joystick. Oh, I always think I'm in line with it, and I'm not. This is not helpful. There's always that, like, oh, I'm, I'm avoiding it. No, I'm going directly towards yeah, exactly. it. Yeah, so exactly. It's like running away from something in a straight line. Mm-hmm. Captain Classic needs more game variations such as sim for a simple game like all those old 2600 games with the game maze tricks charts. Yes. Maybe a moving fuel tank. There you go. By the time you get to it, it moves away. Or a teleporting one. Um, or a random bounce direction off the walls instead of right angles. Yeah, it could have um, momentum. It could... Goes right for you. Uh, or enemies that are trying to collect the fuel before you. Yeah, if they hit the fuel, it could be like, oh, it disappears. And you have to go get it in the, the next spot. Jesus. Missed it. Oh, I just missed Ran it. Ran out of fuel. Just. Those are good suggestions, Captain Classic. I think, and I think that's the, the strength of putting early versions out of your game in the forums and you know showing it off on shows like this um so that people can make suggestions and go oh and especially if they're easy to do um like a moving fuel pod like you just start moving it horizontally or <laughs> good one so fast it gets so fast i'll have one more then we'll move on i'll be right back okay Oof, that was close. This thing's really loose in this. There we go. Made it to the next level again. Oh, now he's fast and big. Reset to the just the fast, big and big and slow. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have gone for that. Somebody's complaining outside. They don't like the music. <laughs> there we go. Now he's fast, and I'm gonna die. Yep. I stand by my two out of five. Two, 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 zero. Not quite as good as my better games. There we go. Yeah, it's, um, uh, doesn't have, you can't play for very long. Um, it's just a game where things get faster 
and it gets harder really too quick. Um, needs a little bit more variation, but it's uh, it's got a good grounding. It's, you know, it's a collect kind of thing. Collect with an enemy. Um, excellent game over and excellent title screen graphics. And I like the swirly thing. Very Yars Revenge. Um, got our, uh, definitely have our thing that we're going to do tonight. Uh-oh. Where did the... Oh, there's the bolt. Good. Thought I lost the bolt. Um, so we're going to be playing the next game, which is Pass Through. Let me change the graphics up here. through let me read about pass through it's 2010 by Cl cliff friedel first posted august 24 2010 oh you're back with another beer it's 4k game uh, other games pass through and starfighter you can download this one in the atari age forums as well um we have not played this one before always new games okay this one is fairly simple i'm just going to give you a quick Tutorial. Okay. Your little guy at the bottom. You know this one? Press the button when you're in the clear, and you can advance to the next oh. spot. Oh, uh, it's a timing game. Yeah, uh, yeah. And don't hit the red ones. Don't be in the in the same line as the red ones. I think the green ones are good, but I will read the instructions more because I just barely played this. And you try and get to the end of the screen. Gotcha. Timing game. Doesn't seem there too bad. Oh, level two. And you died immediately. Oh. <laughs> Because it's unfair. Uh, <laughs> pass through 2600, uh, August 24, 2010. You thought it would be just another mission. Climbing into your ship, you descend into the cavern, looking for magma vents. You can show how this volcano... That you can show... What? That can show you how this volcano was made. What? No. Killed me, like... Timing. Mm. Uh, oh, I was off. But something is different about this volcano. Gems are everywhere. There's a temple that is an, an ominous air to it. Being curious, you walk inside. Looking around, you see what looks to be a giant diamond in the wall, just asking you to be plucked. Summoning your courage, you touch the stone to see if it can be removed. Big mistake. The floor begins to rumble and rocks begin to fall from the ceiling. You notice it getting hotter. Ooh, it, it teleports... Ah! The green one teleports you forward. Hmm... Uh, that's what... Oh, come on. You notice it getting hotter. That is when you see the first flows in the distance. Scrambling, you make it back to the ship and fire up the engines. Now let's hope we can make it out before yet another interesting artifact <sighs> to the next explorers. Before we become an, a yet another interesting artifact to the next explorers. I think Dragster is addictive because it has instant gratification. Ah, uh, yes. Can you tap the button quickly to move more than once? Yes, you can. I it's think you can. It's very dangerous, though. Staying near the walls does seem like a good strategy. Yeah, it was a good strategy. Uh, similar to the Summer Games type of carts. Yeah, Summer Games is fun, even though it's very, very quick. Each of the game is over, but it's like... It's a different type. You're trying to get a better score all the time and it's it's like dragster yeah instructions the main goal of the game is to get through 10 levels before your timer runs down to zero a timer at the bottom very mm -hmm. big timer that goes very fast to climb through the levels you need to hit the fire button when the ship is in the black space yeah. if the ship hits the play field you'll be sent oh you'll be sent down a few lines and twenty-five thousand points will be taken from the timer if you get to the top of the level you receive two hundred thousand points and ascend to the next level Ooh. Uh, make it through all 10 levels and you escape getting a score that you can brag about to your friends screw up and you get zero and cooked <sighs> gems in the world of pass through you will see various gems gems will only stay for a while before moving to a new position so if you're close to one you may want to steer towards it green gems give you bonus time or beneficial effects like okay, something weird oh there it's it's okay now like invincibility you can go when you're invincible. No, you can't. Oh, well, what's invincibility then? You probably hit the red gems without it affecting you. Oh, red gems. No. Ugh. That's not much of an invincibility. Uh, a free boost up a few lines or will cause the timer to stop for a while. Red gems, on the other hand, are cursed. 
Grabbing a red gem will cause your timer to decrease by a set amount. Yep. Too many red gems. <laughs> cause, cause the play field to disappear for a short time. Reset? Yep. Cause your ship to change color so it blends into the play field. Uh, and cause it to descend a few lines back into the level. So red gems have various bad things as mm -hmm. well. So green sometimes jumps you forward. No. Oh, I guess you can get past it. There you go. Um, hey, good score. Right back to the top again with your uh, score. Do you? Yeah, because if you make it to the next level you before get... you run down 200,000, you get a bonus of 200,000. So you can keep it at a very high score. Oh, that was unfair. Game. But it didn't bounce you back. No, depends on what I did. It oh, it killed your score. score. <gasps> oh, no, oh, no. the last one. Uh, that happened to me last time. Oh, D-Train's done. He's running out of gas. Oh, no. Yep, that one of the scores was the Fuji. I think you can press quickly at the large sections. The last level, not the Atari Fuji. Like this one, you could probably do twice. At the... Yeah. <gasps> How did I go back to the beginning? Bad timing, just no, like that. I didn't think it was that bad. No, but that's because I hit it right after it started. It is the most narrow. Oh. I don't even know. Did I hit a green one? It must have materialized. Yeah. Be very precise. There you go. Ah! <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Oh, it didn't. It, it killed your score. That's yeah. what it did. Which is very bad. It is. Invincible. From red. Uh, gaining score now. Get back up. 600,000. This one is tinier and tinier little spots. Oh. Taking risks. So there's 10 levels. I haven't been counting, but I think this is number four. Four, I think it is, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of shifting going on here and there. One more. People need to stop using extra digit in scores that are never used. <laughs> what is the point of having tens or ones placed if you can't score it? Might as well start the game with 10,000 instead of 1 million. Well, tell that to pinball makers. <laughs> Nothing is less than 10 points in pinball. And True. sometimes in those huge scoring games, something oh, they're really? not not less than a hundred. So there's always these huge scores of like everybody's getting hundred million points. They get into billions. What are those? Some of those um, shooters. There's some shooters that have like billions of points. Mm. Oh. Ooh, you hit a, I'm in a red one. Oh, invisible. Oh. Really? Oh, you're almost done. I know. Score is almost this done. level is really hard because the windows are really? really small and the ones the ones in the middle are really precise it's like handing out zimbabwe currency <laughs> <laughs> yep oh, reset I said it oh this little guy don't be over there this one be yeah so you can get up really fast this one is yeah pretty good Here's your fun box. I don't know what that gave me. Oh, froze my score. Nice. <gasps> oh no, I have to go. Okay. This one you can go to. This one's not too bad. Nope. The last one, <laughs> the last one is um hard. It's pretty narrow. Yeah. But the rest of it's pretty straightforward. Careful. Oh, see it's what? very yeah, it's very precise. Like, you have to be not touching the black at... I mean, not touching the sides at all, I'm guessing. Because it's doing per mm. pixel. Oh, why did I do that? Where am I? Uh -huh. ah, a 06502 Desert Bus uses eight digits for one-point scoring. <laughs> eight digits? <laughs> That's funny. That is really, really funny. Ah! Looks like the Eiffel Tower. Ah! What? It does. It does look like that. Give me something good. Not good. I want to know if that's actually invincible. Did you try and press I, the button? No, because I, I, I um, screwed up and I ended up oh. at the bottom. So I'm pretty sure it's just invincible to the red gems. Finally. Oh, I don't want to go up there. 
Yeah. Go. Go away. Go away. Go. Thank you. So the middle is the best spot Easiest, to do it on. Easiest, because it's the biggest, the biggest gap. My score is not great. Yeah. Looks like quick. Looks like hitting a quick double jump causes scan line count issues. Oh. Yeah, that would make sense. Come on. Every time the gem moves too, it jumps. Mm. Get out of the way! It jumped from the same spot to the same spot. Oh, this is terrible. Get <gasps> out of the way! Thank you. This one's hard. It is hard. The next one's harder. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's jumpy too. Like, it's not smooth moving. Like, you see my, my character? Mm -hmm. it's chunky. Chunky movements. Definitely is a little chunky. Give me something good. I don't know. Invincibility. Sure. Yeah, I should try and go up. This this one I find I find challenging. It's really small. Yeah. Yeah, the chunkiness is not helping. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Don't hit it right away. Why do you keep hitting it right away? You just keep losing score. Because I have to get through it. <laughs> that one's hard. Definitely hard. Oh, Atari. He doesn't like their game reset. Yeah. And that green gem. What was it? Nothing? Oh, freeze. Freeze is pretty good. score. It's good. <laughs> uh, get out of the way, red gem. <laughs> get... See, it's smooth on this one. See how smooth the, the movement of the... I think that's on... Now it's chunky. It's weird. It's chunkier? Yeah. Yeah, because it's moving faster. Yeah. And it doesn't know how to calculate properly. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a game of frustration. It is. Simplest of concepts. Move! <laughs> Move! <laughs> Just keep yelling at it. It'll move eventually. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Not because I'm yelling at it, though. No! no! <laughs> I told you that one's the worst. Oh, because it's at the top, and it just makes you frustrated because you're almost there. Nathan Shrimp says, you should be able to jump twice in a row to get past the red gem if the pass is pa path is diagonal and you're moving in that direction. True. This is pure speculation. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I yes, would agree, it is true. but yes, it has to be time perfectly. Give me something good. Give me forward. You can. You can move. Yeah? Yep. But it's very short-lived, so you should just, just hammer the button if you get invincibility. Yeah, but you don't want to go hammer too far it. because the moment it turns off... Hammer uh. it. Hammer it. But, but stop you hammering it. You've got to be careful. Soon. Yeah. Because it does carry over to the next level. The invincibility. It's just hammer, 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 hammer. Zero says someone should make a controller that's just a single button. <laughs> <laughs> really, for this I, game, I that's all one, you need. I have one that's three buttons. Ugh. Ugh. You're invisible. Ugh. Hate this level. This one's particularly Did we pass? bad. Did you nope. pass this? No. Nope. I don't think you have either. Nope. Really have to be fast. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's the worst. I'm always on the last one. Ooh. Uh. <sighs> Look how chunky it is. Ooh. Super chunky. That must be part of the programming, because mm -hmm. it's getting worse. Like, Is it way worse? Yeah, it does look chunkier. Look at it. Jump, 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 jump. It's ferocious. <laughs> <laughs>
Atrocious. No. <gasps> Give me. Stop. Oh. Oh. Oh, get out Go of away. here. Go away. Chunky like my salsa. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's very chunky salsa. <laughs> oh, it's too <gasps> chunky. Oh, I missed the green. I think the only chance of getting past this game is to get those invincibilities now. <gasps> oh, this is chunky. <laughs> get it. Oh, oh, that's well, good. That's good. Still going to be hard. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Oh. Because you can't even be guaranteed your... Go, 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 go! A little too ambitious there, yeah, I think. There's no, there's no way you're going to make two screens. No. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, just whatever. <laughs> whatever. I can't. You're this doing must well. be the last screen. You think? Has it been 10? Oh. Uh, how that many was screens good. was that? That was a lot of screens. We'd have to go back and count. <laughs> Chunky! <laughs> Chunky! I'm not playing. You did really well. <laughs> Do you want me to play again? Or? Uh, if I'm, not like. gonna get, I'm not going to get further than that. So. How many screens was that? I don't know. I like, there's no score to get. I mean, there is levels. No, but, but you're just trying to complete them. Really, it's just completing them in the time. That must have been pretty close. Like, either level 8 or 9. Yeah, you, you made it pretty far. You got a few of those or invincibilities, ten. and you're like, bing, 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 bing. So. Well, now you know the invincibility. You should play it with that. Let's see. I'm not sure I'm going to do much better. Oh, can you hit the reset? Thank you. Uh, I'm going to make an old man noise whenever <laughs> I have to play a game that doesn't have a reset with the pow with the joystick button. Every game. <laughs> I don't know if it'll dissuade program developers oh. from uh, making making me do that. Yay. Final level? Level 9, Roman numerals. Oh! Nice. What? Final level? It says 10 levels, I think. It said 10? Let me check again. Um get through 10 levels so if if i was um i might actually want to play one more time because because i only discovered the invincibility mm. part way through my game yeah that doesn't suck either yep and you have full Go, 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 You have tons of time. That's okay. You definitely have time from the bottom to the top. Well, I don't, I don't know. I hate this level. Yeah, this one. It's not good. This one sucks. There you go. Go, 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 go. Go, at least one. Now the hard part. Chunky salsa. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> You're screwing me up. <laughs> now I'm hungry for chunky salsa. For Mexican food. James's old man noises. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> white in the beard. Look at this. Oh no! Oh. Stop making me laugh. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. What no. is going on? Oh. oh, it does matter. Oh no! I'm trying to it get does. it back. Does it? Well, you lose a lot of points. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. One, but two more. No. Oh, okay. No, no. Oh, it's really bouncy. It's jumpy and it's chunky. Programmer could, the developer could just say, yeah, it's part of the game. <laughs> it gets crazy yeah. and jumpy. I have seen people use that, like the, the shaking, <sighs> for earthquakes. Yeah. But this is unintentional. I'm quite sure. It, the screen shouldn't shake. Go. Oh, Ugh. get up there, get up. Get it, get it, get it. Go. Oh, no. I don't know what that did. Oh, it, it stopped froze, your timer. Which is good. See, Ugh. that's that's a cool thing to put in the game. All these different bonuses yeah. that you can get. Oh, come on. 
Oh, so much waste. Uh, what is going on? <laughs> You're There's too no early. Way. It's chunky. That's the problem. No way. It is chunky. Like, super risky pressing the button because you might be on halfway on. Um... Oh. 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 Go. oh. <laughs> You're like, go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, no, this is not going to end well. Oh, yeah, you, you made it pretty far. I did make it to the, well, <laughs> nine would be the second to final level because uh, there's 10 levels. Level t seven is a seven. Oh, okay. It says 2,600. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when did you say this game came out? Uh, 2010. Nice. Oh, I want that green. Okay. Oops. <laughs> You're like, oh, go, 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 go. I missed the green. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, every time it's like, go, go, go. It's not always go, go, go. Yeah, early levels seem quaint compared to chunky level nine. I know on uh, our last stream. Um... It's level two. Atari is level three. Mm. Oh god. Oh. I was gonna I would die anyway. Yeah. Um I don't know if everyone saw Pixel uh, Rage resetting during the middle of James's game. That was amazing. We clipped it out because it, we just found that so funny. But he actually got up onto the um I don't know what you call it, the table. console, the table, and on top of the Atari twenty six hundred and started batting at the reset switch. We clipped it. Yeah, in, uh... <laughs> I've never seen him do that. Before. Oh my god, we clipped it in Twitch. Yeah, so you can watch watch him. It was specifically very specifically with his white paw going bat 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 on the reset switch. <laughs> it's way too stiff for him to actually do, but it was pretty funny. Is this level three? He is trouble, 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 trouble. Mm hmm. Fluffy trouble, we call him. Yeah, I don't know where he is. Atari just sleeps. Yeah. I think it's too warm for him now. He he doesn't settle mm, here for too long. Yeah. It's, it's when it's cold out, he summer. just loves to kind of cuddle right up. But uh... Get. Yeah, one. Move one forward, please. Yes. <laughs> and again. Get. Don't blame the cat. He had a bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <It's> true. <laughs> He's like, why, why, why do the humans keep hitting the switch over and over yeah, again? Yeah, maybe I should too. <laughs> maybe it's fun. He's just learning. <laughs> yeah. Cancer. Maybe if I hit the switch, I get a treat. Uh, you get attention. <laughs> that too. Oh, so don't close. hit the red. Oh, red. Oh, it distracted me. I shouldn't have pressed up any. Oh my god, come on! This one is bad. Oh, oh no, oh. it, it oh was no. red. Could be worse. Not gonna make it as far this time. Not going to make it as far. I have not got. Because I got a ton of invincibilities. That's why I made it so far last time. I haven't got one. Yeah, no green gems. I think I got like four of them last time. Yeah. Oh. This level is by far the worst. Yep. It is by far. The other ones are much. Because this is as small as they get. Yeah, and they're random. <gasps> okay. Oh. Excellent game. Excellent game. Very fun. Yeah. Like, if he fixed the, the little jumpiness in it. Yeah. And instead of jumping like this, mm. it was faster but smoother. Mm. Those are the two things I would say it needs to be fixed on it. Mm. But other than that, it is awesome. The, the, the bad collect, like the bad red gems are great. The, mm. bad, the good green gems are awesome. You don't know what you're getting for power-ups. Like a lot of games, you know the power-ups you're getting. This, it's random. Yeah. Like, you know, good green's good, but yeah. what what you end one? up getting is completely random. You have so to wait for a second. Game. Go, did I get invincibility? Yeah. Did go, I get go, 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 go. Pause time. <laughs> yeah. 
Really, really fun yeah, game. Yeah, that's a fun game. Okay. So now it is time for our fourth game, which is Magical Fairy Force, which is Atari 5200. Which, if you have never seen an Atari 5200, oh, this is an Atari 5200. <laughs> it is one of the biggest consoles out there. Yeah. Um, definitely the biggest by surface area mm -hmm. size. Because mm -hmm. I was reading a thread, somebody saying, oh, the Atari 5200 is the biggest one. They're like, actually, not by volume, it's not the biggest. Oh, really? The... Um, I think they said the first Xbox is the biggest by volume. Mm. Because the first Xbox is taller. It's it's deeper kind of. Yeah, I don't I've I've no, I got rid of my first Xbox. I don't think we have an Xbox, no. Oh, maybe I No, I think I got rid I of it. I don't I don't think, think we, we have, have one. one. No. Um but because this comes down to a narrow point in the front. It's a little bit less. It's a little bit less because it, it averages out. Pretty big. It's big. It's big and chunky. Yeah. Uh, when you lift it, bend, bend your, your knees, knees, not your back. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And it's got um, a beer holder at the top. <laughs> See, put your beer in there. It's actually cider, but that's like, okay. Literally, yeah, no. it, it fits in. <laughs> um, no, actually, this is for controllers. Oh, yes. You can fit two controllers in it. Nice. And they are the worst controllers ever made. Yes, yes. Nobody's disputing that. I don't think anybody <laughs> disputes that the Atari 5200 controllers are the worst ever made. And let's take a look at some. All right. This is my collection of broken 5200 controllers. Here's one. Nice. Here's another one. Very nice. Here's another one. Very nice. Here's another one. Excellent. Here's another one. <laughs> and not one of them is fully functional nice so what's what's broken is it various buttons is it the joysticks Everything. um this one the joystick's broken it's not self doesn't center yeah actually none of them center do they yeah this one centers this one centers properly yeah this one doesn't oh yeah i see that um, oh this one doesn't either this one's pretty broken the thing that mostly breaks on them is all the buttons all really? of the buttons. You would think those would be the least... Breakable? Yeah. Yeah, no. It's the buttons. Because underneath, the the contacts are not good. They, they wear down. Uh... And right out of the box, some of these don't work. They have a very satisfying rubberized button, though. And I always like that bad. about calculators that yeah. have the rubberized buttons. They're, they're pretty good feel to them. The side buttons are a bit tiny and a bit tight. Um, this one even has its like protective layer on it. Don't still. Pick at I'm it. not picking at it. <laughs> it does. Oh, it has this protective pick. layer. Let me peel off this 30 year old protective layer. Oh, come on. How satisfying would that be? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it has its protective layer on it. It does. Still. Um, so, this that's is my insane. collection that have come with my three Atari 5200 oh, systems. That's hilarious. Um, and none of them work. So in the meantime, wow. I have bought um, adapters. Adapters. This is one of the adapters. Um, so what this does is you plug in the Atari 5200 into one of the ends. Okay. Um, just make sure I'm doing it right. The 5200 or a different controller? No, the 5200. Okay. Uh, I'm not doing it right. Or this is broken. Um, and then you plug this into the system, this mm. end. And then you can plug a Genesis. Oh, what is... No, this is not right. I have to go look this up again. Okay. Um, and you can plug a Genesis controller into that. Okay. And then it's a pass-through and you can use the buttons and use the Genesis. Use both, though? At the same time, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah because it's got electronics on it. Yeah. Um, I also have another thing. This is why there's so many third-party controllers for the 5200. Look at this. Peel it off. Tear off the Band-Aid. No. <laughs> no. How satisfying would that be? I just need a little YouTube video one day when James isn't here 
and I'll just put it on YouTube and it'll just be me peeling, slowly peeling off the protective pink covering off the 5200 controller. This is, this is more useful, this one. Mm. Um, so this has a DB9 port mm. um, and all the buttons that correspond mm -hmm. on here. And this plugs into the 5200 and you'll be able to play it with a DB9 joystick. DB9, okay. Um, you know, the regular things. <laughs> um, anyway, these are all broken and totally useless and you can get it's repair so kits. Sad. You can get repair kits, but, but they're, very, why? they're very expensive. <laughs> and they probably just keep breaking anyway. Um, they're made of gold. Oh, can you shut oh, the, really? the cats? Oh, instantly <laughs> get into the there. Cat, the cat's in a, in a side cupboard now. Get out of there, silly kitty. <laughs> no. He's like, I've never been in here before. This is so exciting. What is it? This is so exciting. Okay. Did, I, did you know there were shelves? Did you know where there, there were shelves in there, he says? Can a Jaguar controller be adapted? There's a bunch of them. I haven't been able to keep up with it. There's a very good YouTube channel where all the guy does is controllers and oh, how yeah. to adapt different controllers oh, really? to different systems. Oh, that's cool. It's like this controller works on this system yeah. with this adapter and with this and you st string two of these adapters together and it works on this. So if you want to know about controllers, definitely check out his channel. No idea what it's called, but I am subscribed to it. Um, so I have three 5200s. I have powered them up, but I haven't properly played any of them. I didn't have proper controllers for the longest time. Um, but, oh, and another thing about these controllers is that they are analog. Now, with a regular, say, 2600 joystick, that's left, that's right, mm. that's up, that's down. That's it. It's either on or off. Mm. There's not kind of left, kind mm. of right, which we're used to today. Mm with joysticks, like with thumb controls, like you can move faster or slower. Yeah. It's not an on-off. It's on, yeah. Those are D-pads. D-pads are on and off. Yeah. And the other ones, these are, these are analog controllers. So they're more like paddles almost. Oh, it's like you stay in the okay. center. It's in the center. You moved a little bit to the left. It, it's a little adjust bit. It. Yeah. All the way to the left, you move left fast. Okay. Which are, which is great for control, mm. but it's one of the few systems, early systems, that had that. Had that control. Yeah. Mm. Um, some home computer systems had that as well. It says, yes, there's somebody on Atari Age that mods Jaguar controllers for ah, the 5200. That's cool. The problem is a lot of those modded controllers mm. are digital-only controllers mm. because the thing you're modding from is a digital controller. So there's very few Analog that controllers? can yeah. replace this luckily a lot of the games don't use analog they're just left is left, right, left is right, right. Yeah. yeah so that's okay and that's why there's lots of adapters and they're they're fine i love your pile you just throw them on the floor well it's i put like them away the after i'm not going to put them away now <laughs> they're broken yeah I mean, that's very sad the chance of you buying an unmodded original 5200 and it working like the controller mm -hmm. is next to zero mm -hmm. they're broken out of the box mm -hmm. back when they came out um, this game that we're going to be playing, Magical Fairy Force, it's actually meant to be played with a trackball. Oh, okay. That's his primary um, input device that he wants people to use. So I went, oh, a trackball. Awesome. What I'm going to do is take my trackball and hook it up to the new adapters I have. Yeah. Because we're going to be playing this on emulator. Yes. And then we could use the trackball to play the game. So I plug this in, plug the trackball in, it's working. Yeah. The trackball emulates a mouse, which is okay. like, oh, that, that's cool. I yeah. move it faster, it goes faster and slower. Trackball is a good thing to use this on. Um, but then I, and I got it working yeah. in the game, but then I realized, oh, the game has two buttons to play with. And this is, this does have two buttons, but this second button is the same as the first button. Oh, it's not two buttons. So it's not, it doesn't actually work Oh no! for the game. Oh, sorry. The 5200 has a trackball controller. Okay. It's huge again. I don't have it. It's massive. Okay. It's just massive. I would love to get it, but it's very expensive because it's massive and fairly rare because it was probably very expensive to begin mm. with. So I couldn't use this. So... 
my next solution that I went to was this mm. an Xbox 360 controller uh, wired um, USB mm. and it has an analog controller mm. because the little thumb joysticks are analog that's digital right left yeah. right up down but these are analog and it works oh good and it's got lots of buttons Yay. so you have the primary and secondary button on this good so we'll be using this and I tried to look for a second one so we can both play with this. Yeah, but, but we only have one. We only have one wired one. We have a lot of wireless. Yeah. But I don't have the USB receiver. Okay. Yeah. Uh, trackball is a good workaround the controller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Al had one set up with a JAG controller at PRG. Ah, nice. Okay, so let's take a look at the game we're going to be playing. So we're going to be doing that let's get that up magical fairy force and for the first time i had to go oh my god i have to get a 5200 5, cartridge <laughs> uh, ready um so there's the cartridge i made that up very nice i took a forest picture and kind of put an effect on it so it kind of looked cartoonish <laughs> and took all his characters and put them in nice, nice. yeah so we're going to be using al terra as the um f no nope. what's full screen alt enter it's either alt enter or f12 <laughs> or f it depends what program you're using yeah that looks perfect looks great so i'm going to be using the keyboard which okay. is not ideal because it mm. is left left there's no yeah. acceleration gotcha but it should work fine if i can get the foot back in there we go but well, we'll do one player first. Okay. So that I can read some stuff. Okay. Um, so. Oh, make sure my input mapping is correct. Yep. Oh, I think I have to turn that on. Is that? There we go. Okay. It is a kind of fighting game. Gotcha. Not directly fighting, but more like those puzzle Kitty. fighting games when you're on one side and you're on and the, the opponents on the other and you throw things at each other. Gotcha. But not directly. You can be the kitty? Of course. Of course. And you'll be fighting the first person. Q Sugar. Nice. Versus. So, shoot everything. Don't get hit by those bullets. Oh. You, know, you have, you start with four health, four lives, and now you're down to three. So you can hold down the button. And this, and there's a power meter on the bottom right. That's your like big weapon. And when you're ready to fire your big weapon, press B when it starts flashing and you filled it up. That's the only thing you collect. That, that yellow, not that thing, but that thing. Click that. There you go. And that fills up your life meter that's in the center. No, you didn't get hit. You're still good. Okay, now press your other button. Which button? The second button. There you go. Now it's shooting little bullets at the other guy. Good job. Oh, just click that thing. That cloud of yellow. There you go. Okay, that's the basics. Okay. Uh, yes, it's it's not a premiere of a 5200. It is a 5200. Oh, you've been running into a lot of clouds. Is it? Oh, it's bad? Yes. Don't run into clouds. Oh. Don't run into anything except okay. that sparkly yellow. That thing. That's the only thing you can run into. Oh, you can go up and down. Ah. And that increases your health. Yeah, it's the fi first 5200 game I think we've shown on the show. It's an Atari game. Oh, game over. I did not win, I take it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did not. Um, so start is start to continue. Oh, so I mapped nice. that over. Um, yeah, every once in a while I'll play a non-2600 game to throw it in. Yeah, just I don't, throw I don't mind playing 7800, 5200, and 8-bit games. I think those are all kind of in the same realm, I feel. So this is by Ryan uh, Whitmer, for, uh, known as Average Software on the Atari Age forums and in Discord. Um, this was first posted on September 6, 2018. First talked about. 
I think he posted a, a screenshot at the same time. So everything you shoot builds up your meter. There you go. And you can see your health slowly go down in the center. Mm -hmm. Both at the same. In the center, sorry? Those lines along yeah. the center. Oh, those it's are not your at health. the bottom then. Your lives are in the bottom. There you go. Shoot a little pause. Oh, you got him once. Um, when I posted, I was going to, well, what did he say? Oh, when I was, when I posted this, uh, that I was going to play it on the game, the game on the show, he said, fair warning, if you're going to play this on an emulator, be aware that the game uses analog control. It may be difficult to play with a keyboard or digital controller setup. Um, so Fairyland is in trouble. The evil fairy queen Zavasha and her dark minions have set, has sight set on conquering this peaceful land. Did you beat it? Yep. Oh, good job. Now you're against Z7ZCBX. Uh, good Queen Sugar rallies her force and calls her allies to defend sweet fairyland from evil. Are you ready to answer the call? Magical Fairy Force for your Atari 5200 will place you in the fairy arena. Strap on the wings of one of the eight characters and fight to save fairyland or conquer it. Get ready to, for intense head-to-head -head trackball action. Don't worry. Joysticks work too. <laughs> so this is the same developer that made um, Rat Catcher for the 5200 and Real Sports Curling <laughs> for the 5200. Lovely. Both came out in cartridge through the Atari Age store. Not many people developing um, 5200 original games. A lot of ports. Oh my god. They fired their good weapon. Stay out of the crosshairs. Good job. Tried. Uh, S. Ramirez says, I read, I met Ryan, aka Average Software, at last year's no. PRG. I purchased both of his games, Rat Catcher and Rail Sports mm -hmm. Curling, at the show, and he signed them for me. Well, that's awesome. Um, you saw the new port for in television? Oh, yes, we did. What was it called? It's like. Goon, Goon Enough? Goon Enough, I think it was called. It was a port of the Goonies. Um, oh, yes, yes, yes. Goonies game. Look yes, so beautiful. Fun. Yeah, it looked it's really, really good. Made by um, Chess, Chess, Chess. What's his, what, Micro Chess? Oh my god, what's his name? Is the audio low? The audio is hey. off. It was only coming through the microphone. There you go. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I turned it off at the beginning of the show because of the uh, music. And only when we play emulated games I need to turn it back on. It's probably too loud. It's going to cut you out for a second. Or pause you. Oh, that's good. It pauses you. There we go. Sorry about that. No, oh, what's his name? Chess. Something chess. Help! I don't know. I I, I know he Nano chess. Needs. Nano chess. Nano yes. chess. Uh oh. Up. There you go. Up. <laughs> uh, Nano chess. Who did uh, Artvark? Mmm. Nano chess. There we go. Yay! Oh, you beat. Now you're on to pork chop. <laughs> So each of them has their own powers. Um, it was inspired by a game called Twinkle Star Sprites, which looks almost nothing like this game. <laughs> you're kind of flying. You're both vertical, like side by side in that game. Mm. Um, but in that game, you're actually fighting enemies, and then you get power-ups to defeat the guy, person on the other side. So it's a little different. This one, there's not really enemies that you're fighting. It's kind of things you're avoiding, more or less. And bullets. I hear the 5200 is very similar Ooh. to the Atari 800. Is that ah! the reason so many ports instead oh of homebrews? I.e. developers porting requests for game for the Atari 8-bit. Yes, that is absolutely correct. Um, I think they share like s so much in common that there's only little things that need to be uh, changed over. Um, obviously the analog controls is one of the bigger things. If the game has analog controls, they would have to be changed over quite a bit and i think um because average software was asked in the forums 
Somebody asked him, is this going to be ported to the 8-bit system? 8-bit um, Atari system. Getting too close to things. I know. You're being very dangerous. Um, and he said, no, not by me. Probably because of the difficulty in changing over. Send your minions. Little claws. Get him. Got Get him once. Got him twice. Good job. I love the power-ups that you have. His his um power up though his special, special weapon move, yeah. is really really like just killed me instantaneously. Oh no! Well, he's got a long way to go before he can fire it again. I don't know if he can prevent that. Oh, it, his just went down. Did he just fire it? I don't know. Hmm. No, Maybe when you get that had... cloud, it goes down for him. Fire yours. Because when you're... Oh, you got one more to go on him. One more shot. Oh! oh! That was me? How did I die? You I ran into my something. bar was huge, though. You ran into... No, but my bar was huge. It wasn't the bar. Your lives. You have four lives at the bottom. Oh. And when you run into things, your lives... Go... When you run into bullets, your lives go down. Oh, I wasn't... When I, you run I've into been clouds... Looking at, I've been looking at the wrong thing. Oh, when you run I into was, clouds... I was thinking you're... I was doing okay. When you run into clouds, your life goes down. Your, yeah. Your power goes down. There's three meters. <laughs> See, that's why I'm getting confused, because yeah. I didn't realize I'd, I'd lost lives. So. There's lives. Yeah. You have four and power. Of them. Yeah. Um, you lose one of those when a bullet hits you. Um, you lose your life meter yeah. when you hit a cloud. Okay. Because I was only looking at that. Oh, no. Which was why I was thinking I was doing fine. I'm like, why am I dying? The Intellivision control would work well with Tempest. Oh, yes. I hope they release another Tempest for um, the Amico. That would be so good. If they released Tempest, put it on cartridge, that would be, you know, the killer app for the Amico. I would buy, buy one immediately. I wouldn't even care what else came out on it. Mm. Yeah, everything else would be bonus. Shoot your paws. Shoot your paws. You ran into a bullet. You went right through a bullet. Yeah. Yeah. And then... What is the... um? Oh, you had ran into that other bullet right there. It's hard because you're... It's a little uh, jumpy, but... Yeah, I wouldn't go near the top. It's just too risky. Because yeah, but sometimes you're dodging things, like... Yeah. It's usually the only time I go to the top. Shoot your cat paws! Oh, down to one life each. Are we? Yep. How did I just need to get life? You keep running into bullets. <laughs> and those little white speckly things are the things that shoot out. Oh, Did I hit a ran, bullet? Ran into something. I didn't even see a bullet there. Anyway, you play. It's very fun. James missed the post above. Did I? Uh... Oh, the Atari 80... That one? Oh, I can't read that. Go up a bit. Can you go up a bit? A little bit more, please? I can't see what two ROMs... I don't know what you're talking about. There. Uh, no, James, even newer than that in television game, right before you went on the air tonight, uh, Chris Reed, Atari 2600 Land, is working on a porting Tempest to the Intellivision. Mm. Oh, wow. It's posted two ROMs, non-playable demo so far, basic play field design. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, that's very, very cool. Mm -hmm. I will have to take a look at that. I don't usually go into the Intellivision forums too much. Mm. So, so I will keep playing your kitty. Go ahead. Yeah, play the <laughs> kitty. He seems to be it's pretty all good. all about the Atari. Atari, It's, it's yes. good offensive yes. uh, moves. Uh, it'd he be does, very, yeah. It'd be very hard to avoid those bullets. And you usually hit them twice each time. So one to two times. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Oh. Uh, see, it's really easy. Uh, I don't even remember hitting the bullet. Like, that's why well, I was tiny. a little... Yeah, but I didn't even see it there. Small movements. And getting those white things at the yeah. top um, are build you up. Build up what? Um, your life? Um, your power meter. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know if hitting the clouds does that. Do it. I think it just the gets clouds, rid of the clouds. Hitting the clouds builds up your special weapon. So does you want to hit. Yes. Every time you hit a cloud, you build up your special weapon, I think. Oh, maybe no, not. I don't think so. I think it just gets rid of them. How do you build up your special weapon? Oh, the white things. Oh, no. It's the. Um, the lightning bolts? The lightning bolts build up your special weapon. And the thing at the top. And Possibly. the white things. They do. Yeah, but the but the thunderbolt does. Okay. Yeah, exactly. What just hit me? I don't know. I don't know. I had something hit me and killed me. Mm. Anyone that owns a fifty two hundred needs to own the home console exclusive space dungeon. Another tra great trackball game. I'll have to take a look into that. I don't know if I'll start really collecting for the fifty two hundred because it's such a janky system. <laughs> it's so hard it's so big and the power for it power the, the way you get power into it is so weird well at least for the four port anyway mm. um i don't know if i want to get into all of that <laughs> it's just a lot of work and i'd want to mod it as well yeah hitting the lightning bolts gives you yeah, I, I actually, hitting the white stuff at the top doesn't seem to give you much of anything. No. No. Yeah. Oh, it does. A very small amount. The lightning bolts give you a lot more. So you want to go for the lightning bolts yeah. when you can. If you can, yeah. It, it, quite it, a bit? It's quite a bit, yeah. Okay. That gives you more life. I haven't seen him shoot anything yet at me. No, uh, he did once. Didn't now you can... Oh. Maybe that's what it keeps he telling us. He did once, us. and it was like... No, it, yeah, there are these green, like, alligators that came up from the side. Oh, and they I killed me that. almost instantaneously. And maybe they're like, just really wow. fast, and they just didn't see them because they're so fast. Oh, yeah. Like, where are they? I don't know. Everything but, went but crazy But these on my green screen. things came across, and, and I could <laughs> not avoid them. They were really hard to avoid. You sure it's the same character? Yes. Down to one life. How, how did I... So is he... He's, he's like him. doing... Oh, I got him. Did I? Yeah. Yep. Mm. Good job. Now at least you're... You're um, rejuvenated. Fruity. Oh, cute. Fruity? Is it its name? Fruity. It's the name of the fairy you're fighting now. Fruity fairy? Fruity fairy. There's um, character bios on my tablet. Mm. If you want to um, load it up. It may be linked. You may have to go to the notes and click on it. But I've got them labeled. so And, and it'll describe each of their power-ups. All right. Yes, Pork Chop has Gator Rush. Ah, that's the one we... I, I haven't seen it. I, I did. They, yeah. So, um... Um, so our intrepid rat-catching hero makes use of those <laughs> horrible sewer alligators that make his day job so dangerous. This guy will cross the screen in waves, one from each side, and they're fast. Be quick on that trackball and avoid them to prevent damage to yourself. The gators are upside down here because everything on the top screen is upside so down. Poor evil ball. Zavasha is about to get chomped. Zorex, Arctic Blast. I haven't seen him yet. Socially awkward ice fairy unleashes his deadly magic in this rain of frozen death. So it's big icy spikes. Mm. Seven ZC B X atomic cleaning laser. <laughs> This is this is a robotic um, uh, maid. That thing? What yep. Is that thing that's bouncing around? No, fruity. Oh. No, no, no. This is a different person. Oh, okay. So that person. <sighs> so close. Uh... Lightning bolts hurt you if they drop off the screen. Oh, uh, that's what's been happening. Mm. So you have to definitely to get, get the lightning bolts. Thank you so much, Whitmerd. That's what's hitting you. Ah, uh, funny. So the kitty has a litter box splash. 
So bad kitty, keep that stuff in the box. You're going to hurt someone. So avoid the deadly kitty paws on the edges of the screen and watch out for the litter pellets that fly across. <laughs> Don't the main sail upgraded power grip bricks for the 5200 more energy efficient. I understand that quite a few power bricks for the C64 Atari 800 400. Yeah, I just bought a new C64 power brick. So it doesn't blow up my system. I think they sail ground fault interrupts that connect the power. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, can blow a fuse in the internals. That's not good. Okay. So. So you were okay. playing Fruity, who has a lollipop, and she throws the lollipop end at it you. It was challenging. challenging. It was bouncing around. It gets faster and faster. Mm. We'll nice. play two player shortly. Okay. Then we can go head to head. So that's just something. We can them. pick our own characters. Okay. I like the kitty. You like the, it's pretty good weapon. Now that I know, now that we know we have to get the lightning bolts, it's like you it will head right for them each time. I mean, they're good to get anyway. But yeah. You get penalized for not getting them. Yeah, good to know. Very good to go. To know. I mean, it makes sense. Lightning bolts yeah. are pretty dangerous. Yeah. Definitely for kitties. Make them very scary. I just need a bit more. Oh, get, get, get. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Oh, I think I got hurt. It's okay. It's just a cloud. Like, you can go through the clouds really quick, and they'll just... They'll take you down a little bit, but, but that, not... They take your health down, not your lives. Yeah. So it's, it's bad, but not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, you can let the you can let the clouds pass. They don't hurt you. Yeah. So you get it back with that. Yay! There we go. Good Thank you job. for the lightning bolt. Um, information yeah. Whitmerd. And welcome to the show. I mm -hmm. haven't uh, seen your name here before. So this is... Uh, I missed the name. I don't know what the power is. Oh. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I can see this being really good with the uh, rollerball, trackball. Yeah. Is it be easier to now to get back and forth? Really good It doesn't control. feel quite smooth enough with the um the the, the controller. Right. I mean, you can do small movements. I find it jumpy. But... It's like, oh, oh, I'm trying to get there, and you you jump a little too far. It's not terrible, but no, it's not terrible. And you can get across pretty quick, like the screen. I think we both get it at the same time. That um... like oh, actually, out. everything uh -oh. comes out at the uh -oh. same time. The badness is gonna Ow. rain down soon. Oh, ice! Whoa. It's the ice one. Ooh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's not nice. too long, yeah. but it's pretty good. Pretty good weapon. It kind of warns you when the lightning comes. Yeah, it flashes. Down to one. So we need some kitty paws. Oh, look at all the lightning. No, it's very uneven. I'm not getting any lightning. Yeah. <gasps> oh no. Lisa, it's short lived. Yeah. Where, where's your lightning? Where's my lightning? I'm not getting anything. Maybe you have to shoot enough of those white things to get. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, damn it. Missed it. Oh. Okay, let's do it. Let's go head to head. Okay. Oh, I'm the guy who wrote the game. Ah, that's helpful. <laughs> Welcome. I can see your controller's lack of precision. Yeah, it's a little it's a little off. Yeah, it's not for sure. The worst, but hmm. So who do I want? Who was that last person? What is going on? I didn't pick anything. You didn't? No. Well, weren't you moving around? Okay, one second. Weird. That was weird. One second. I didn't try click it again. anything. Well, pick something then. I, I was having trouble going down. Okay, let's pick her. Okay, good. <laughs> 
But like you picked for both of us somehow, so you must have hit a button that picked for me. Oh, maybe. Because I didn't hit any any buttons. So I should be on the top. I'm on the bottom. Okay, I'm I'm not playing. Oh, one second. I'm like it's magically moving. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's why I was picking for both of us. Yeah. Uh, there we go. That's why. Better? Yeah. Okay, so I'm on the top of the screen. Oh, Tanya's at the trying. bottom. Yeah. I uh, just got hurt twice. <laughs> oh, so have I. Wish you could get your lives back somehow. Yeah, no. It's Oh, well, it's what it's versus. It's not like a. Ooh, Ooh that's, that's a good, a good one. one. <laughs> that got wow. me fast. The game is magical after all. Oh, that's so we get to pick each time. Ooh, I'm gonna pick fruity. They had a pretty good. Zavash, is that what you got last time? Yeah, deadly. Ah. Deadly. I don't know how you'd even avoid that. You know, you have to be in between it. Mmm. I already got hit. Ugh. Unbelievable. Super fun game, Whitmered. Yes! Really great. I like the uh, fairies. Ugh. It is not precise enough. No, you definitely need the rollerball. I don't know it's how like I can get that emulated on a PC. Like, what controller I could use. So I don't think that is exactly working the way it should be. Because I think it is on and off, right? It's You're not getting, like, acceleration on it. Getting ya! Nice. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, it kind of tells you where it's going to be. Just like a second before it shoots. It did get me at least once. Yeah, you're still doing better than me. <laughs> no! Ah! It's hard to avoid both yes. the lollipop and the, <laughs> and the projectiles. Trackball is just as analog as the joystick. Mm. Oh, yeah, it would be, yeah. But it, um, uh, you're correct. I actually used my Edladen Super Twin 78 dungeon. Oh, wow, I didn't know about the Super Twin. Yes, the Super Twin 78 is something awesome <laughs> that I definitely want. But it's by $250, $300 Canadian. What is it? With shipping. It's... It's also huge. Yeah. I have no room for it. That's the other problem. It's about this big. It's okay. got two joysticks. Bunch and two buttons each. Works on the 7800 for 7800 games for two players. Yeah. Also works on the 2600 mm. for two players. Also, it's two joysticks. So you can use it for Robotron on the 2600 and any other twin stick game. Mm. So really, really good. Really expensive and huge, <laughs> but awesome. Yeah. Goes hand in hand, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who do I want to play? I don't know what that person does. Not moving for some reason. Okay. That's I'll okay. I'll play. No, no, again. no. You don't have to restart it. Oh, it's not. I have to turn this on. Because things aren't 100% mapped. Then I have to turn it off. That's my issue for mapping. So pick your person. Come on. There's a slight delay yeah, each is. time you move. It's not like. Di -di 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 -di. Yeah, not like when you're playing. No. 
I don't know what this person does. Fists of Doom! Oh, he got me at least once. Twice, maybe. Uh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. I think the bouncing ball I found the easiest to, to avoid. Ah. Reign of Terror. You also have to avoid the bullets while yes, the things while are the going. Things on. Are going. That's, what, that's what gets you. Good well, that job. was pretty good. Good job. Let's try pork chop. I'll do kitty. You can throw lightning at the other player by pressing your attack button. Oh. Mm. Thank you very much. You are playing. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. So I can throw something? You can throw lightning. But like Why would I want to do that? Yeah, because it kinda gives power to the other player, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. And it loses me power. I'm not yeah. Unless they're busy, I guess, and they can't get the lightning. Yeah, if their screen is really full. But I'm like, thank you. Please send more more lightning over. Cause oh, alligators. Oh, well, they're not too bad. I found them hard to avoid when they they came, first came out, but I wasn't in the middle of the screen, so they mm, kind of got me. Yeah, like you want right to be in the away. middle. With the alligators being in the middle is not too bad. Still haven't been able to throw anything at you. Thank you. Finally, a lightning. There we go. Deal with the cat Kitties! claws. Kitties! Kitties! Oh, ah, this is insanely hard to avoid because the the bullets are coming from just both everywhere, right? Oh, oh is that the side? Yeah, if you're at the side, those, that gets you right away. It's Yay. dumb early on, but when the game gets faster, it's quite effective mm. to throw lightning. Oh, okay. Mm. I have two cool. Master Play clones that use to connect the Super Twin to my 5200. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. One more? Sure. Uh, I want to be the robot. What have I not done yet? Because I don't know. I can't remember what the robot does. I've done the kitty. I've done, I've done the robot. In an excellent two-player game. Did, pink, the did world, I do pink beat? Maybe I did pink beat last The world time. always needs more two-player games. Yes. Yes, yeah. I agree. With one player option. Yeah, In case they don't have a, this is an the, opponent. This is the... What is the their weapon? The fist one. The fist oh, one. Oh, the fist one's not too bad. Challenging. It's, it is challenging, though. It's a lot to avoid. It's like the kitty. It butter. is a lot to avoid. It's like, ah, things are coming straight down and from the sides. Yeah, this game would be much better with uh, analog controls. <laughs> It'd be way more precise, but I think we're both at a disadvantage, so. Yes, which. Which evens it up. Good. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want one person to have a huge advantage over the other. No, I need to watch that guy's channel. Which Figure guy? out uh, how to hook up. Actually, he doesn't do a lot of PC stuff. He does mostly like just consoles, like hooking up controls to consoles, mm. not controls to PC. But sometimes he does, I think. So I'll have to see if he has a good solution for 5200. Ah! 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 Oh, God. Good. Ah! That one's not. That one's. It is avoidable. That but one you, seemed pretty difficult. It, though. it, it, um. It 
touched you. It touched your little antenna. There's no way I could have gotten... Well, I guess I could have <laughs> touched my little antenna. <laughs> I've seen a picture of the Super Twin set up, and it's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. It is. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's incredible. Good. Very good. Excellent That's game. That's a really fun game. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, really, really fun. Yeah, definitely a, would be a very good purchase to have if you have a proper... 5200 setup. Yes, with the trackball and everything. two trackballs. Yeah. yeah. Kitty. He um he called he called my um my graphics cute. <laughs> my my mock oh. cover. <laughs> well, you got to put something there, right? Yeah. So. Got to do something. Yeah. Um so some good games today. Yes. Very fun games. Hero's Journey. Once we got into it, Hero's Journey and figured out menus yeah, there, and and weapons. Once we figured out what armor. we were doing, then yeah. it made a little bit more sense. There are definitely a few flaws, but I do like the fighting mechanic. You yeah. can actually flip through each of your characters Very really fast. quickly, yeah. which is always the thing with those RPG games where... It's like click, 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 click. click, click. So yeah. many clicking. This one's like down. Yeah. Quick, quick. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. Good show and good games. <laughs> yeah. Uh, solar plexus. Mm. It it needs more depth to it. It's very simple. You, it is fun though, and it is fast paced. Yeah, it is fast paced, but it's game over too quick. Um, it needs more variety. Yeah, um, yeah. I I didn't think it was a bad game. It's just very no, simple. It's just a little simple. mini game kind of. Yeah, than good a, as a mini yeah. game. As a very quick pick it up, play it for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, pass through. Lots of fun. Oh, Lots great. of great power-ups. Yeah, it's the kind of game that, you know, give me another hour or two, and I think we'd, we'd make it to the end. But uh, And I think it would yeah. be fun, like, if it had more levels, too. Like, And you could easily put more levels on oh, it. Oh, it's yeah. just a but screen of blocks. But the timing, yeah, it's all about the time. And yeah. if you can get more time boosts, then you could add more levels and keep it going, right? So The game yeah. looks and is playing well with two trackballs. Oh, you have two trackballs? Nice. <laughs> Here's the super twin setup. Let me check that out. Yes, we do need to see that. Loading, loading, loading. Oh my god. Okay, so he's got it hooked up to. Let me just put this so everyone can see it. Oh wow. Um, one second. So he's got. Uh, this is S. Ramirez. Um, been playing Space Dungeon with the Ed Ladin Super Twin. 78. Mm -hmm. I use two Master Play clones. Oh, yeah. Similar to that one, yeah. Looks familiar. Yeah, very similar. <laughs> That's Not what exactly this is. the same, but. It, they, put, they put out yeah, different. On the top, yeah. They put out different. Like yeah. the, His are longer, but the, they're the exact same thing. Nice. Um, I only have one of them. I don't know if they sell them anymore. Um, and then there's the Super Twin 78. Oh, wow. So you've got the two joysticks and the two buttons. You've definitely shown me those before. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe his aspect ratio is weird. No, no. it's normal. No, it's fine. Of. Yeah, so that that's a very, very cool setup. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's got two players uh, for that game. Wow. So that is something else. <laughs> very nice. Yes. Very, very cool. Great setup. Well, you weren't showing them on the screen, or were you? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, I switched back. Oh, okay. Um, Solar Plexus needs more. Three more. <laughs> Still a two out of five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's about where I'd rate it, because it's just, it's just, I mean, I don't give out ratings on the show. I just no. say, I say what I like, and I say what could be improved. Yeah. yeah. So you always be positive. <laughs> you want to be positive, because you want better games. You want... Yeah. People to improve their games so they're well, better for playing. that game was released before. Oh, that, I mean, that's, that's not a game. ancient. It's yeah. old. It's 2005. But, it's, I mean, it's a simple game, and it's it's still fun, but it's yeah. a very short play. Some games are like that. I wouldn't count it out. People have restarted and improved their games from, like, 15 years ago. Yeah, but games they've released on cartridge already? No. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Solar Plexus is fun in short bursts. It yeah. is, yeah. Best setup money can buy. Yeah. I would say that is the best setup for 5200 that I've ever seen. Yeah, with the with the Eladen. I mean, I with this and this, you can you can play all the one player games. True. Yeah. On a 5200. Yeah, very true. And you'll be half of what he's got. Mm. You won't be able to play the twin stack games. 
um, or any uh, analog games. Yeah. Okay. Or any ro or any trackball games, but that's a very small portion, portion of, the, of them. Portion yeah. of them. Yeah. Um, so that's that's very often. This will be replaced by Ed Ladin's future Super Fifty Two controller. Wow. I don't think that is a trackball though. Have a good night, games are. Yep. Um, and then we played uh, Magical Fairy Force, which we just played. Very fun. S yeah. Super fun. Really, really fun. Really awesome. Yeah. So much variety in mm -hmm. the characters. And I find they're fairly well balanced. Yeah. I mean, if we played it more, we'd find our favorites. Yes. Like, which I think has so. the best best offensive. But they all have good o offense. They all have, have pretty good superpowers, I, I guess. Yeah. yeah. None of them are different in defense. Like, all of them are exactly the same, the same. except for superpowers. Yeah. So that could come into play if they wanted to. I don't know if they did, um, if he made it, uh, Whitmerd, um, where you could have some move faster and some move slower, and some have better defense, like better armor against the, um, the clouds. Yeah. yeah. But, but you may I don't not want to get into that. It's balanced this way. So it is balanced. Yeah, it's balanced this way. I love, I love all the inventive ways that they attack each other. Yes. The kitty throwing the litter. <laughs> so good. We don't know anything about that at all. You no, know, it's not do all we? over the place. No. Yeah, that is a projecto. Yes. Definitely. Yes, little yeah. kitty. Yeah, very good. Uh, I played with those ideas, but then I ran out of cartridge space. space yeah, yeah, I think Tang is right. You don't need it because... No, it's balanced. The offensive will be you. Yeah. Your skill yeah. is the offensive, whether you can run out of the way or not. Yeah. Great game, Ryan. My son and I look forward to its cart release. Excellent. Yeah, me too. Yeah, mm -hmm. it'll be fun. Even if I do have to play it um, through digital controls. Mm. I'll find a way. I'll find a way. Maybe this... Maybe this can hook up to this somehow. I'll, You'll I'll, figure it out. That guy who has that controller thing, but this only has one button. So. Yeah, that's kind of the issue. I'll have to figure it out. Or just buy a 50 to 200 rollerball and extend our house into another room. <laughs> that's the issue. <laughs> or find a better uh, closet solution yeah. for there. Or something. Yeah, I, I have know. no idea. You've got too much stuff. Uh -huh. I'll sign it for you if you catch me. Yay! Yeah, we go to PRG um, every year it's on as well. Yeah. So he oh. he, he went to a bunch of PRGs that oh, I saw in, okay. in his uh, feed. Mm. He was there in 2019. Nice. We were doing um, interviews there. Yeah. So you may but have you seen we were really us. Just, you were really just there on the Sunday. Yeah, just for one you, day. You had, you had somewhere else you were... You, uh, we're yeah. flying in from so you could only make the Sunday but yes new uh, tour of our coll my collection um when um Erlen comes back he wanted to do the camera for that so we'll oh, do a, okay. we'll do a live okay what I'll do is I'll break it down by day I'll do okay this is my 2600 collection yeah then I'll do this is my 5200 collection then my 7800 collection then 8-bit yeah and then others yes and then I'll do it that way yeah um, because I think it would just be, it would be too long, mm. um, and boring to do it all at once. Just and it, it would be a mess because I would have to bring everything out. Yeah. So concentrating on one per. Not a lot is out. You have a lot kind of stored away. Stored so away and There are a few things away. on display so it would just around the room. A pile of stuff. Like you can show, you can show the camera around the room. There's a lot I've, of stuff I've out, done that but quickly there's a once. lot of other stuff that's hiding. So yeah. yeah. And I need to arrange my... 2600 boxed homebrew yep. up here take all that out <laughs> start somewhere else mm. yeah um i live in seattle so prg is just down the roadish nice. and we live in vancouver just, so there's, just yeah <laughs> north of you <laughs> yeah. Uh, just north of you so we pass by you and go to prg yeah. we love it there's it's a so seattle good. gaming convention too yeah I, I haven't looked at pictures of that no i mean prg is the big one on the west coast yeah so we make that a point to go there. Yeah. And it's, Seattle will be a good the day The nice trip. thing about PRGE, I mean, this year was supposed to be in August, but usually it's in the fall, which kind of makes it a nice thing to do yeah. around, what is it, usually October? October, yeah. November, it's somewhere around, around there. Yeah, it's around my birthday. Um, yeah. So we, we tend to try to make time. Um, yeah, we make it into a special trip. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully 2021, it'll be back. <laughs> I'm Fingers sure it will. Crossed. 
Um, I'm sure it yeah. will eventually. Sadly, but it, it was canceled we, this we, year. Everything's sort of up in the air, right? So yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's tough it's, to know. It's done. It's not. And there's a Vancouver year. one that's very small. So. Very small. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's getting been better. getting better, but it's it's not it's nothing near. It used what to be PRG sad, is. and we used to skip it all the time, actually. Well, initially, the first we went to like the f- second year or something. It was dark. <laughs> it, it was, was in like... a tiny space, but then a couple of years later, they upgraded it to the convention center and in the West. It's huge. And yeah. and much much better. So, yeah. so the Vancouver one isn't bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. It's it's good enough to go to. It's it's not PRG where you can go for multiple days. PRG is a wonderland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's so good. It, unfortunately, it's been less and less older older stuff yeah each year um hopefully more of the older stuff will start coming out because people maybe don't want to hang on to it as much anymore i think it goes generationally a little bit goes in a wave you know people people, our generation is now collecting it all up well no i think they've collected it i think they have it's done i think people hit like their 30s and and late 30s and they start have more money and they start collecting things and then you hit, a satur- you hit a saturation point and then people go i have too much crap and they start selling it so so yeah it might it, be another 10 years before yeah, that then it, there's there's definitely a cycle so yeah california, california extreme. extreme well we'll have to look at that <laughs> let's see oh that looks like video like arcade game which is still fun which is awesome yeah we do like going to pinball yeah. The pinball shows too. The pinball in Vancouver is a good one. Yeah. It's really good actually. It was um not not huge, but uh it was really cool. Uh classic arcade game show. So wow. it looks like they focus on arcades. That's stuff. awesome though. That's yeah. fun. Yeah. Oh, there's lots of them. Yeah. Well thank you, Metal Metal Atari. Metal yeah. Atari. Metal, Metal Atari. Atari nineteen sixty nine. Thanks for hanging out with yes. us. Yes, yes. Great arcade ap- oh my god. Yeah. Uh, Pac Man uh, pinball. pinball. Uh, we played that at... Is it Pac-Man Jr.? No. Pac-Man Jr. is different. Pac- Which is the one with the pinball and the Oh, arcade? no, it is. Pac-Man it's Jr. It's Pac-Man Jr. But yeah. Pac-Man Pin... See? Oh, that's different. Yeah. Yes. Played it with Pac-Man Plus himself. Very nice. nice. And that's the developer of the Pac-Man oh, Jr. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's not Pac-Man Jr. Baby Pac-Man. Baby Pac-Man. Baby Pac-Man. Baby Pac-Man. I'm not, Pac-Man. not Jr. There's so many Baby. Pac-Mans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby Pac-Man. Yeah, yeah, that's a really cool game. Cool concept. And I think it came from um, that really good arcade in Portland. You know, there's the well, arcade that's there. there. We yeah. played it in the arcade. I don't think it was... I think it was no, either out of service at PRG. We were... It, we were uh, it, it was out of service when we were at PRG, but we were passing oh. through for some... Um, Something else. It was oh. it was for a um, uh, film festival. Ground control. Ground control. Thank you. Very cool place. That place is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Played a lot of dig. I would go down there time. just for that. <laughs> so the next episode, uh, we're going to be playing play Florida. Ooh, yes, Florida is not a bad place. Sounds good. Is it close to Miami? We like Miami. Good. Yep. Uh, yeah. Next episode, we're going to be playing for sure. Yeah. Brick and Brick One Eighty. And then there's a couple iffy ones that I don't know if we're going to be playing or not. Mm-hmm. And then, not this Sunday, but the Sunday afterwards, it's a spotlight on Thomas Yench uh, with a video interview. And uh, we'll be going through his catalog of games and discussing it with him. So make sure you have your questions ready for Thomas Yench and uh, make sure you tune in for that. Very cool. Ask him some questions. He'll be joining us live on video. Mm. Uh, RK Cabinet was working at PRG and yeah. Ground Control. Awesome. And uh, Nathan Storm, hoping to see the replacement RGB mod showing up here rest. soon. Yep. It is on its way to him. He's got all the other parts. Yes. Pretty much. Um, and he's just waiting for the RGB board, which unfortunately is coming from the UK. So oh. it's a little bit longer, hey. but it has started shipping. It's at the edge of the UK. Let and... me just say, it's going to nathan who's in the u.s yes. chances are if we ordered it in canada it would take months and you'll probably get faster because we have terrible postal service Orlando. sometimes like not within canada but anything coming into canada seems yeah. to take forever orlando i don't mind orlando either but it's yes. been a while since i've been to orlando yes thank you to the devs for their great games they're the ones who fuel yes. the show yeah yep, without yep. their fuel the show would be nothing yeah <laughs> there'd be nothing to talk about nothing to play be so. like, we'd be playing old games <laughs> yeah, yeah which a million people have talked about a million times it's like yeah what is there more what to are say? we adding to it right yeah, nothing yeah. there's nothing Two more. mediocre <laughs> game players uh playing uh old yeah. atari games so no we haven't got our zph shirts no where are they yeah let me check on the order so far they haven't they haven't updated 
since the last time I checked, and it hasn't updated in like a week. Oh, UPS. Still. Last last update was the fourth. Two weeks ago. Oh, that's so brutal. It package departed international carrier facility. Estimated delivery. No idea. So stuck in customs. Yeah, I guess. They're it like, still says it's in the US. They're just shirts. What is to look at? They're <laughs> just shirts. There's no well, moving parts. It's not electronics. This There's cloth. Oh, did did you want to mention at all that you found a site that was no. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There's there's a site that's ripping off um, designs from T Public and putting it on their own site, and obviously not paying anybody there. Yeah. I'm sure that VHZC's designs are on that site as well. Yeah. Um, uh, there's nothing you can do about it. Who knows where they are? No, but I was just gonna say if you look up zero page um, designs, yeah, it's through T Public. Yeah. Um, it's really just offensive that this site is doing this because yeah. i i just think especially in this it's going to be lower quality because where are they getting the designs well from? it's bizarre and so they they must have just gone right off the site and ripped all the images yeah. from the site yeah. um and i just feel bad i mean for us it's it's who more kn who it's... knows if they're actually shipping them because in their reviews it says i never got my shirt wow so they're just selling things it's it's just a complete scam it's a complete but scam. i just feel terrible for artists right now because they're struggling yes. and they're probably trying to sell designs and and they make their living some of they them might be yeah making it off merch and t-shirts and things yeah. like that so i just that i was just kind of shocked and i mean for us it's more it's just for fun it's for fun but but i just it's just terrible that this website exists so. and it gives a bad taste in their mouth to the people that they're ordering it from like the designs like if somebody ordered a shirt yeah from us from this site and they never got it they'd be like hey i ordered your shirt and i never got it it's like yeah what site did you order it from yeah that's not a proper site yeah and then, and then they'd be like why don't you take it down well you can't because they're in whatever country and yeah. they don't care yeah yeah it is really terrible yeah so t public is where is is the site where we're selling yeah. it so if if you at any point look it up just make sure you're ordering from that site um, it could just be a complete fraud and scam and may get pulled down because if they're not actually making anything, they might just be completely false, right? But yep. but anyway, I just wanted to mention that because those things are very, they're irritating. And again, for us, it's more... It's whatever, it's for fun. It, yeah. It would just be bad if somebody... It would be bad if, somebody, be bad if someone ordered it and, and didn't um, get it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to say that because um, those things... Esmir has <laughs> got his ZPH shirt. Yeah. And it's ZPH. <laughs> not zph because we're matter. canadian <laughs> um <laughs> and night guy shirt is it still in transit too even more terrible for paying and never receiving anything mm -hmm. that's the problem mm -hmm. and uh daryl spice jr has got his mugs but not his shirts yet from, uh, from so us. same but, same like us we have our mugs but so there might have been a a time where when people ordered them and they got stuck and then people ordered after and they got theirs quickly. Yeah. Because so, we're the happen. first to order them and we're going to be the last to get our shirts. Yeah, but we got... Pretty... Got the mugs. Did we get anything else? We got... What did we order? We got the pillow. We got separately. the pillow. We got the mugs. But not the there. shirts. Not the shirts. I don't think we got... Did we, did we order... Stickers. Stickers or anything? I don't think so. I think we Maybe. just got... Maybe I ordered a magnet. I can't remember. I can't remember. It's At terrible. least we're waiting for shirts anyway. That's That's the shirts. That's just shirts? Oh. Uh, we did order a number of them, too. So Four shirts. Yeah. yeah that's just the shirts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we ordered a mug and a mug and this. Oh, this is the full. The full nope. thing. That's it. Okay. Yeah, no stickers or okay. anything. I have the site saved, but thanks for mentioning. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. don't order from bad places. Yeah. Yeah, so hopefully VHZC's stuff isn't up there. I didn't look. I should have looked. Yeah. Um, There's not much you can do. I, I nothing think nothing you can do. So that just, what do you What do you call it? They're spoofing almost. Like, yep, yeah. Just completely ripping the other site. They yeah. only had one of our shirts, not the other one. So they might have must have ripped it when our, one of our shirts was down. Oh, maybe. When it got that DMC, might actually. When it got DMCA'd in that very short window of about one day. That's true. Yeah. That is possible. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, that's the end of the show. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. S. Ramirez, 2008, Nathan Strum, Packrat VG, Dan AVC, Arena Foot, Whitmerd, thank you for making that awesome, awesome, fun game. Uh, Metal Atari, 
Who else? The games are mm -hmm. Azure. Azure six five zero two. Pack Rat VG, I think I said their name. Yep. Captain, Captain Classic. America, Arena Foot. Uh, Pretty good turnout today. Lots of people chatting. Lots of chat. Which is really nice. The D train. D train, and we've hit the top. Okay. Excellent. Oh, MK Smith. Oh, Woo. my goodness. So oh, much people just started talking. <laughs> uh, MK Smith, VHZC. Um, yep, I'm going to do some research for you, VHZC, about t shirts. Yes. Because um, I might have something to tell you, but maybe not. <laughs> um, I'll let you know um, in uh, Discord, um, possibly, or just private message. Oh, Metal, Metal Atari is still there. So yeah. thank you for tuning in. We'll yes. be back on Sunday at 11 a.m. for more fun yeah, yeah. homebrew stuff. Yes. And so we'll see you then. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.